Welcome to a Dungeons and Dragons podcast, Adventures of the Sword Coast, with Azaraya Neriki Rel, Elf Cleric, Sephion Asimar Paladin, Dimus the Trickster, and Half Elf Warlock, Draco Amethyst, Dragonborn Rain, and myself Dan as the Dungeon Master. Please enjoy Chapter 19, Medusa's Enigma Tablet. So starting from this session, nobody will have inspiration, and um, you can earn inspiration in the beginning of the session. I'm going to ask you a question about your character. You explain how your character will react, what it does, and then upon that I will give you an inspiration. Um, in a f normal D&D session or so, if you're around the table, it's like a dice. Um, but keep in mind that you have this inspiration. What can you do with this inspiration? First of all, um, if you throw your dice, and for example, it's a 3 or a 4, and you would like to re-roll, you can use your inspiration to re-roll. Oh, if, if that is then lower, you have to go with that. It's not a choice, but it, it's also higher. If you um, think that you don't need your inspiration, but another player, you can also share your inspiration with the other player. So if someone is doing something and is not throwing good, you can also say, I'm using the inspiration to help him out, and then he or she can roll again as well. That's very useful. I wish I knew that last session. <laughs> Um, <laughs> me too, yes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, um, but uh, I, I thought it was, was a really nice thing uh, that I would like to implement in our thing as well. Uh, yeah. But first to get the inspiration. One of the things to get the inspiration that we also do there, which I also kind of enjoy, but I'm curious. Um, you can earn an inspiration if you would like to do the recap of last session. You think? But <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing a great job at that. <laughs> I just know I got blasted by a little just blasted. You don't times. like. You uh, can, can have. I, can, I want to do it. I you can do you it. can have like. Then you could have like two inspiration. It doesn't oh. stop at one. You can oh, have as much Seth inspiration as you can. So if you need it, so. All right, all right. Uh, let's go. Okay. So uh, last session we went, uh, we were, we started in front of the uh, on the island to uh, rescue Sephion, who has been cursed and uh, uh, is uh... Ah, fuck out of the head. Okay, others can help so, you out. Uh, though. That's not a problem. No, no, it's, it's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So we went, we went to travel uh, on the island and. Um, um, uh, we made a deal with uh, a ship captain, so you will probably also still be expecting uh, the half of the loot or uh, the gold at least. But we made a, a small trick. But yeah, the question is if he will go for that. Uh, in the tomb, we found a uh, really uh, first there was a problem with uh, somebody who couldn't aim his uh, blast straight, and that was the first person who got into trouble was. Uh, Draco, uh, who almost died because uh, fan because of friendly fire, of a not mm, uh, to be named uh, um, <laughs> demons. Uh, uh, you can yeah. say demons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, after that, we found a lovely, lovely table with drinks, and uh, that turned out to be a trap where uh, Draco got away, but uh, uh, Saphion did not, and uh, is actually on the. Uh, Wink of dying because uh, he fell into the trap and he rolled bad and yeah now he's almost dead and at that moment uh, Azrea walked in and she that's the moment where we where we are actually are and she's also it's the question what is going to happen now so it's actually very tight if the group is going to survive this next session a little bit. I uh, I agree. Yeah, well done. I, you I are... applaud. I oh, applaud. Well done. Well done. You got uh, one inspiration point, uh, Sephion. For the others. Okay. I want you like I'm. I'm gonna start it simple because I I didn't really thought this through, but I'm just using one that we did in the other one. Um, 
Tell me what your character does first thing in the morning. Who wants to start? Draco. All right. Yes. Draco. What do you do? What is like the tradition or your habit? What is what does Draco do the first thing in the morning? Be grumpy. I don't like mornings. Be I grumpy. just wake up eventually. And I'll uh stretch out. Yeah, stretch out a little and then think about why the hell am I doing this again? And then uh oh my screen turned off. And I uh I uh, think of food and get food. Alright. And some honey. Draco has yeah. one inspiration point. Thank you. Dimos. All right. First thing Dimos does in the morning is wake up and um, actually look around, listen around, see if uh, w wondering if Balthazar is going to surprise him today. Um, and then he's going to take his money pouch and count all his coins, see if everything's still in there. Yeah, and happy. And then he's also going to sit uh, for breakfast and uh, hoping he will get a lot of adventure in the day. And a lot of uh, experience and monsters to kill. Nice inspiration point for Timus. Uh, Sefio Nazarea, who wants to go next? Ladies first. Um. What does Azarea do first thing in the morning? After she gets up from her meditation, she um, does some stretching a few headstands to get ready for the morning and then if she has still some time then she lays on lays next to Guat and studies her book all right great inspiration point for Azarea. and last but not least Sepion. well first thing he does is actually check his weapons when he wakes up to see if that's <laughs> uh, if they're still there and he thinks uh, he used to think about his goddess actually still does which is not his goddess anymore but he thinks now about how he's gonna get revenge and yeah there's also some other stuff that he used to do which is not suitable for children uh but that is also something he usually does first thing in the morning <laughs> 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 All right, uh, inspiration point for Sephion. So that's the second for Sephion. All right, good. And as Sephion already said, it is indeed Sephion on the ground incapacitated. And at that moment, Osorea enters the area where the drink is and is being also drawn to the nice mug filled with their interesting magically it and it's drawing you so azurea throw me a wisdom saving throw well and you are compelled to grab the mug and you take a sip and the beer contained within it is delicious but the mug itself feels heavy and it drags you toward the table. Do a strength check. To see if you can get away from the table. 18 plus 1, so 19. And you're strong enough to push yourself off the table. Because you are an elf. You're not going to be tricked by this nasty trickery. But you see to your side that... Well, Sephion, he actually drunk himself, incapacitated, and is on the brink of death. What do you all do? Can I, um... I mean, that would... Should I just try, maybe, destroy the muck? Uh, would that be good? I mean... I'm gonna poke a first kneel next to Sephion and, like, talk to him, like, wake, try to wake him up. Sephion, are you awake? Sephion! No. I, I can, I can do spare the dying on him or. I'm, I'm put uh, one good berry in his mouth. Oh, that's actually good. That's uh oh whoa, fuck oh fuck oh wait one second uh, uh yeah uh, healing potion for my and I drink the healing potion. 
and almost, I totally forgot how much they give. One second. I'm, I'm gonna cast the uh, double Elder's Blast on the mug in the meantime, hoping I can blast it away further into the room that we're not gonna get be, get compelled again. I'm not even close to the mug, DM, okay? Yeah, no, I'm... Um... <laughs> <laughs> no mirror to that. That's nothing! <laughs> but, uh, it's, I'm behind uh, him! <laughs> your blast uh, 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 shots at the mug, and it looks like there's an invisible shield around the mug, and it just um, absorbs your... Shit. You, you should... Sephion, can you walk? One second, four plus two plus two... Eight. So we, we should that. we should move from away from this drink, this which, demon drink. Which way should we go? Should we go um, that 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 direction to the left or to the right? Uh, first we went left. Let's go right now, or we just keep on going left. We can also go there. Well, let's go there. Let's go there. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna walk there and see what's up here. I'll, I'm gonna help Sefian up to help him up and then we're following you. Alright, so you take the right corner and there you see that the hallway continues forth in this dripping cave, narrow passageways. The floor is a bit wet, it's slippery and uh, you see that you, at the end of this cavern hallway, you can go to the left or the right again. Um, I used the spell slot for the goodberry, by the way, that I gave him, because last time I ate all ten. So now I got nine left, I'm gonna eat six of them as well. You're gonna eat six berries? Yes, it, it, it cost me a spell slot, but now my health is on twenty. No, but so you're gonna I, uh, eat six. What? You're gonna eat six? I'm gonna eat six, I got three left now. What does I one, one? I thought Sephira. one heals you, oh, you six yeah. heals you up, like, until, okay. One okay. heals one. So you got so 6 HP, alright, gotcha, gotcha. Well, you must be full. <laughs> full again, yeah. The drink, 10 berries, 16 berries in total today. Just checking, the, the, the 8 hour lasting mage armor is probably still active, right? Uh, when was it again that you did that? When? Uh, bring the runes. Yeah, then 100% sure. That's yeah, right. definitely, yeah. definitely. Okay, so I'm, very, I'm, I'm slowly, like, carefully walking forward. I'm Can not rushing hear? anything. Dimus, Dimus. Yeah? Can we listen first, like, hear something? Maybe it's like a noise somewhere? Like, wind? I don't know. I don't know how silent it is. I mean, okay, I'm... Everyone quiet? And I'm doing an... Uh, Perception check. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's not much. That's six... Minus, that's five. Five, all right. So, what you hear is the dripping noises of the moist walls to your side. Because sometimes it looks like this is flooded, yes or no, so it's like wet and, and dripping. But for the rest you cannot really hear if there is a creature nearby or anything like that. Okay, Draco, I can't hear anything. Um, how about you, maybe? Because, yeah. Uh, trust in you, you got like elfish, half elfish, yes? you can hear better than me. How about that? Like, let me come forward. <laughs> Don't want to say it, man. my purely <laughs> elfish ears. 13. 13, and you peek out your ears and you look around, trying to hear something, but also you hear the noises that this cavern makes. Should be fine then. Right? Left or right? Who feels left. lucky? Left? left? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go left, right, left, right, left, right. Yep. Cool. And you take a left, and there you go a bit up some... St looks like stairs. And there you enter into an area... ...with some... Well, there's like some fungus on the floor, there's some bushes, and there's some green. It looks like a different kind of area than you've seen until now in this cavern. You can go straight ahead. You 
see that to the left there is an opening that goes downwards on a slope. And to your right it looks like there's a passageway, but it's with your dark vision you can actually see that that is a dead end. Alright, and um, is this a place to linger or should we just move on? Um, can we... I mean, is there a point uh, can to... I can I inspect uh, the fungi? Yeah, of course. Um, the total of sixteen. Sixteen, and with this, you see that it's ordinary fungi. That it's, it's just like growing poisonous. because of the wet. It's not poisonous, okay. but it's also not not. Do it. There's no foam coming from. There's not. Like this, this poison coming from all no, 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 so okay, you're not exactly, in danger. Exactly. It's just wet. It's a bit yeah, greenish. You should have place to let, let it exactly let it fall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. I'm just following you. I, I am weak. Can I investigate the slope downwards? Of course. Investigation check. Uh, that's eleven thirteen. 13, all right, so you look down into the slope and there you look into a wall, but you see that um, it, the flooring starts to become wood and what you hear is as if there is like water down there, like a bit lake. You hear water flush against walls and that's what you hear and that's what you notice and that's what you see. Okay, guys, that's actually kind of interesting. Like, there's there's a wooden floor down there. That that means... Some... Man-made? Yeah. I mean, has to be, right? Yeah. Or at least hum humanoid. Well, what are we exactly looking for, Sefjan? Uh, That's a very good question. The, cy the cypher to kill me. I actually what? didn't write it down, and I asked the last time already, I think I asked the DM, but he didn't watch, so I don't know. I didn't write it down. I wanted to write down the poem, and no. I don't know. Right, well, let's go there then. Yeah. Um, would you like to do a history check, Sefion, to see if you can remember oh yeah oh if that's possible that would be nice of course <laughs> uh, i want to do a history check to remember exactly what it was looking for and exactly also the rhyme that was went with it the, because it yeah. was a very specific thing you told me oh, and oh. i wanted to write it down and i asked i actually <laughs> said you have the last uh, session oh uh, no 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 write. um and you were like oh no i don't gonna do that <laughs> He should have done that in the first place. I guess that's what you thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, that's uh, <laughs> fine by me then. Let me get that. But now if, I, I, uh, let's I, I, let's I, see how high you throw. A six, minus one five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you really yeah. are thinking very, very, very badly. But uh, the only thing that you remember is like the, it, it, it's some. It has something to do with a tablet. Yeah, no, the cipher, yeah, the tablet. That's, I know that that's the only thing I knew. That's the thing that you remember. Okay, guys, how about... Um, I, I, I can actually go in there with uh, invisibility. See if if that's worth it. Do you think it's worth it? I can send in Draco. Draco has night fish. I'm from Madrex has night fiction. That'd be good. He can, he can tell you what's up there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Draco, take a look, but be careful, okay? Uh, he walks down. All right, and he Silent. gets on a wooden platform. And is he stealthy or yes. not? Yes, 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 stealthy. Then throw me a stealth, please. All right, give me a sec. I need to. Yeah, see. I also need to get some shit on over here. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Really? Nat natural one. <laughs> oh. Whoa, so, he's super stealthy. so he falls down <laughs> and when he falls down he drops you hear a very big splunge and uh, he takes by falling a d4 bludgeoning damage 
right? Now D4. Uh, oh yeah, and of course that's a four. And do a Constitution saving throw for him. Oh okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, Fifteen. Fifteen. All yes. right. Great. That's good. That's what happens. Uh, then I'm just gonna psionically mind talk to him like what happened, and then he tells me exactly what happened. What, what happened is that he. Uh, what he's telling you is that he fell down and <laughs> plunged into the water, and he? that he's now struck by fear of eyes looking at him, and he doesn't dare to move. All right. Huh. Well, we can't we see him because he's dark fish. Can you see him? The do we have rope? Can we throw a rope down? You can you can walk down. down. You can like, but it's slippery, and he throw uh, with a one, then you fall. But you can yeah, you well. can walk down if you want. But, but can you see anything? Like he doesn't see anything. Uh, he does. He sees. Uh, uh, the only thing is that he's fixated up uh, some eyes that uh, he can't uh -huh. look away from. Can I have the rope still? Because I have an idea. Of, yeah, if, if someone has a rope, uh, then... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, another throw, I'm gonna give the... Oh. Okay, yes, yes sir, okay. I'll take the rope. Okay, uh, I take uh, a stick, uh, because I can see that here are... Uh, yeah, there's like wood. Is that correct? What I see here? Bushes, yeah. Yeah, so I think uh, I think uh, uh, so. It's like so. It's not just a rope, but it's now a stick. So I can actually throw the stick, and I throw the stick, and uh, I say to Draco, Draco, can you please ask uh, Drax to bite in the stick or something, and then we can lift him up. Yes, sure. Okay, then Drax, bite the stick. And okay, and then I want to. There is something the down there, guys. There's something yeah, down well, there. I feel because he's struck by fear, that's easy, so can I just, do I need to roll, to, or can I just lift him because he's a small dragon? Uh, roll. Roll a strength check. Oh wait, I got something to buy. You get something to buy, that's fine. Uh, 13 plus 3, 16. With ease, the mighty powerful Zephyon pulls out. Drax up the slope back. Okay. And I'm standing ready. Is is nothing chasing him or coming behind him? So no. I'm... Nope. Okay, good. You don't hear anything that's coming up. Uh, you just really hear uh, water down there. In uh, like yeah, you just right. you hear the water. You know what I mean? Like yeah, waves yeah. and and fluttering and. I and, uh, Drex saw something looking at him, and he was full of fear. He tells me, like, he like full eyes. Of fear, he just yes. saw eyes. He saw eyes, and uh, yeah, he's he he cannot really. He says it, 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 eyes humanoid and uh, incredibly. He's incredible, uh, incredibly scared. Okay, normally I would say we'll go and kill it, but I mean, looking at the state of us all, I'm saying let's not do that this time. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing here then? Because uh, are we looking for something? Are we killing something? Because we, maybe we need to kill this thing to lift the curse of you. I, don't, I yeah. have no clue. No, maybe, well, maybe I don't know. We're looking for a tablet. Yeah, well, it could tablet? be a tablet, a, a cipher. A, that's what I remember. A cipher. A cipher is a tablet. So that's how I right, remember. Well, I'm following you, man. I am okay. not well, we feeling good. Yeah, well, I'm not, I'm not uh, leading because, I mean, uh, I am as deft as I, I don't see anything. And I mean, I'm a little bit surprised the last time, so somebody else can go first. Yeah, Who's also we can look and feel if there's a trap. I have 20 health and Drex has even less. Yeah, I have Ten. 9. Okay. okay. Yeah, I can go, but if... Yeah. Alright, I mean, let me stop you here. We, from now on are not going to tell each other anymore how much HP we have. <clears throat> okay. Because that's not really role-playing. Uh, you can tell them how you feel, or what you look like, or something, and then okay. by then you know, like, okay, he's incredibly hurt, or he's actually All feeling right. very well. Tell them how you feel, no yeah. HPs. Alright, well, Drex doesn't look good, I don't look good, Seth, you, you don't look good at all. Alright. So, he's someone who looks better than us. 
Azrea, yeah, beating up Gaza. Up to us then. Like you feel fine, right, Azrea? I I do feel fine, but if the healer breaks her neck, then you are all fogged. But I can go first. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 down to go first then. It's okay. All right. I mean, so I Daniel, still feel you go first about about, uh, about uh, what happened back there. Uh, you should. You better should. Alpha wouldn't be that Oh, you go uh, that, that direction. Yeah. You, you all are not deciding to go down the slope? Yeah, uh, Sophia said no, so yeah. I mean, if, if we get it right, we're, we're going to check if we're going to find the cipher somewhere else. But if we don't find it, we might have to go down the slope, right? You can take a little peaky left and then we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. just a little peek. Yeah, you want to do this stealthy, uh, Damos? Yes, I do. Oh, then uh, throw me stealth. I'm gonna stay way back, so I'm because I'm not stealthy at all. That's oh, that's actually really good. That's twenty to twenty-three. All right, let me see. Okay, let's just wait here, and you can check if there's something <laughs> there. Uh, how much did you throw? Twenty-three. Was it a natural twenty or not? Uh, so sorry. Did you throw a natural twenty or not? No, 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 17 plus 17. 5. All right, all right. All right. Go ahead. Oh, no. Okay. Slowly going ahead. Uh, do I see anything more now? Like and what you see oh, is that two basilisks are looking at your direction. And they see uh -huh. you. And you have to make a constitution scraping throw. Because you no. also see them straight in your eyes. Uh -oh. I throw a natural 20 with your stealth, so I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Constitution saving throw. Yeah, that's... Uh, 13 plus 2 is 15. 15! All right. You are able to move away your eyes from them. But they have seen you. But they yeah. are not making movements to go to you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna slowly step back until they do i'm around the corner and say guys two basilisks around the corner okay okay, uh, have to run. okay never mind. Uh, draco did you say that wax said that there was a humanoid staring yeah it looked like yeah it looked like the humanoid it's it's a uh... i mean humanoids are not by definition bad if i am correct no. right no, no, of course not. It's a dark cave, and then usually those are nice guys, ones. Guys, guys, let's not discuss too much. They might basilisks around the corner. They might. Can we? Come can, we to us. can we? Can we? How does the cave look like? The ceiling. I think uh, we have to. I'm asking the DM now. What uh, the ceiling of this cave? Yeah. Same like as the, same stand, as the walls. Like, because it's water, so it like has pointy things. Yeah, 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 for down. sure. Yeah, of course. All right. Okay, Dimas. I mean, shoot we... Eldritch Blast at the pointy things in the, on the top when shit hits the fan and then they pierce the, the things below. So don't shoot above my head, please. So shoot right away now? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Wait, when we're is... in a fight. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, so, are you go down the slope? Let's yeah, go yeah. Down the slope. No, All right. Go down the slope and I say, I'm say, hello? Hello? Let me explain what you see. You come down. And indeed, you see all kinds of water. And as you enter this space, you notice quite a bit of water covering a somewhat sunken floor ahead of you. And there are four pedestals within the space, and each five feet tall, as well as four statues representing science. The statues um, are quite nothing happening, but the water seems to be moving in a clockwise whirlpool and picking up speed. And in the center of this whirlpool, uh, you see a humanoid oh, creature oh, oh. Oh. that is drawing oh. the attention. And everybody right now needs to do a constitution saving throw. Oh, shit. Because this creature is having snakes on her head, is wearing a golden crown on top of it, and has a very very nasty gaze. Fun, fun, fun. I got six. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Drax has a seven, so that's way better. All right. Hold on. 
<laughs> I don't want to die. This might turn out very bad. Yeah. Who's that? Calm her. Who's the bard? Draco, you are petrified. Of course. And Drex is as well, I guess. Drex is petrified. Continue yes. on. Who does another constitution saving throw? I have plus two. 16 plus two? Yeah. You are able to move your eyes away and nothing happened. And so, yeah. what, petrified does it, what does it do? I can't like, move. Mm -hmm. I bet. I have 19 plus 2. Hold on. Petrified uh, means that um, a petrified creature is transformed along with any non-magical object it is wearing or carrying into a solid inanimate substance, usually stone. The creature is incapacitated, can't move or speak and is unaware of its surroundings. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage. Creature automatically fails strength and dexterity saving throws. Creature has resistance to all damage. And the creature is immune to poison, disease, although poison or disease already in its system is suspended, not neutralized. So you have basically turned to stone. Oh! But you said resistance to damage, so I can't take damage. Uh, has resistance to all damage. Yep, you're um, incapacitated. You don't get damage. You turn, you turn, you don't. What I don't know is how do you get out of that? Oh, that's fun. Which I'm gonna look up for you. But how much did you throw damage? Uh, 19. Yes, plus two is you also were able to move your eyes away from it and look to the ground. And you, Sefion? I have 14 plus 3. Also, so, you that's... are safe. As soon as you look her in the eyes, you need to do this constitution saving throw again. The water is... Um, let me see... It's difficult terrain, so that's half of the speed that you normally can do. Unless you move in a clockwise direction, as the whirlpool is, then you have your normal speed. Okay. And let me... Are you looking it up, uh, Draco, how to get out of Petrified? I'm going to do that right now. Okay. But we can use the same tactic as with the Basilisk, right? Of course, of course. You can yeah. use all kind of tactics if you want. No, that's fine. Um. I mean, yeah. Should 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 we do it like that then? Uh. Greater uh, uh, oh. restoration. Yep. However, last there's only one way you well. to get out. Uh, at least my last restoration as well. Oh no! Blind, the deaf, and paralyzed poison. No, that's okay. that's not true. Last second. Um. Yeah. In that case, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cast the same spell. Does anyone Mine. have the uh, Greater Restoration spell? No. Nope. Lesser. Lesser Restoration spell? Yes. Yeah. Then for this time, I would definitely allow that the Lesser Restoration spell can undo the petrifi Petrifying from Drake. Oh, wi Wish as also? What? Oh, Wish, the Wish spell. Ninth level spell, or five, fifth level spell. Oh yeah, no, of course we have a nine level wish spell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I would like to keep it uh, keep it nice. So the lesser restoration it can undo the the petri petrification, if I can say it like that. Petrification. Petrification. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be too hard. Well, good. I'm just going to chill here. <laughs> Wait, yeah, you don't have yeah, a choice have, at the I moment. Have, <laughs> I have so, this. Yeah. I have this spell magic. That does not do anything in this situation. Okay, so let's go. Roll for initiative. It's you against Medusa. Maybe talk to it. Oh, wait. I can't speak. Uh, 17 no. plus 2 is 19. 
I am uh, actually I'm gonna uh, I see of course that my friends are petrified so uh, I've seen in the blinking thing that yeah I know that it's uh, very dangerous but still I'm gonna look down and I said oh hello over there can you hear us you foolish mortal what is it that you want you, you petrified my friends, can you please unpetrify them? Of course not, look at me in the eyes. Oh. Uh, why, why would I do that? Then I'm also petrified. Look I'm at me in here. the eyes. I'm here for the tablet, for the cipher. Do you have the cipher? My tablet is locked away and not for you to get. Foolish Where did mortal. You, you locked it away, where did you lock it away? Yeah, what the fuck, thank you, Zephyon. Oh yeah, here, as you, you lick the fuck him <laughs> Well, we already got a clue that it's locked away, so I mean, that's... Well done, that's true, yeah, well, well done, okay, good. Anyways, meanwhile, Dimos, it's up to you. Yeah, what well, are you gonna do? I mean... I, I have some three options, but only... There we go. One spell slot left, which is kind of shit. Um, so I think best bet is to do the same thing as last time, I guess, actually, I'm gonna um, cast the same mirror la as last time uh, this way, so that the mirror screen is between Medusa and, and us, like, so it reflects to her, and I'm gonna okay. cast the mirror right there. The mirror? Is that a cantrip? <laughs> The mirror, no, it's my last spell slot. It's the spell Major Image. So I create an object of my own imagining uh, that's no larger than a 20 foot cube that uh, has all the physical attributes that I want. So this is the mirror here in this year. <laughs> okay. Uh, Huge. Um, or did you not want to have it there? Yeah, no, I think that's 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 good. Yeah, show me where you, show me where you uh, have it. No, it, it's good between us and Medusa. Yeah. yeah, like here, there. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right. Anything else you want to do? And then I'm gonna stand behind it. Cool. All right. Good. Then it's Medusa's turn, and she. E is completely shocked by the um hold on by the the mirror and she r puts her gaze away from it and takes out her long bow yeah, and uh, try to destroy the mirror What do you want to say, uh, Sefton? Well, uh, if it's like right in front of her, how does she know that there's a mirror if she's uh, if she, that she needs to look at it, right? And if it's right in front of her, then she looks at herself automatically, doesn't she? She looks at her legs, like she looks oh, yeah. down in the mirror at her legs. If it's right in front oh. of her, she's not that oh, stupid. No. What What do you think? If she's that stupid that, oh, Mira, let, let's look myself in the eyes by knowing what power I have. No, of course no. He's a bit smarter than that. The whole, the whole yeah. area is filled with water, so she's definitely oh, careful yeah. of not using no, reflections. Yeah. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, no, then it, of course, of course. But in some way, maybe you can trick her by looking herself in the eye or anything like that. I definitely would love to see you do that. But with this, she she's she's centuries old. She she knows better than this, and she will try to destroy the mirror with her longbow. What does the mirror have for armor class? What can we do? Then non is class and over the enough. Do I have that on my dungeon screen here somewhere? Normally I would. Oh, there you go. Armor class for... 
Crystal, glass and ice. Armor class is an AC of 13. She... There we go. And she misses. <laughs> she misses her arrows. And that means that it's Azarea's turn. Will I uh, go back to uh, Draco? And I use the lesser, greater restoration on him. I touch it, I put my hands on him and try to... You also have that spell. I didn't hear you say that. Did say. Alright. Well, how does it go? I put my hands on him. I start shunting quietly and... Um, you still have spell slots? I can use that, I think. Well done. Uh, um, so I put my hand on him and start chanting, and I see that he slowly can start moving himself one by one. One body part by one body part. And indeed, the stone is being put away and starts going away into the ground. And what the hell? Who's this? Who's this woman? Doesn't matter. Don't look her in the eye. Okay, looking down. Thanks, uh, Azaria. You're nicely blocked from view by Dimos's mirror. Like that. Anything else you want to do, Azaria? Nope. No, yeah. I mean, I use my spell. I don't want to. I don't really want to move, to be honest. That's good, yeah, that's fine by me. Sephion, your turn. Okay. Uh, what is the range? Oh, fuck. There is a so mirror between you and Medusa. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Um, is this, like, is this, are these pillars or platforms? Platforms. They are a bit like five feet above the. Okay. You can, you can crouch down behind him, right? Yes, you can crouch down. Yeah. yeah so that is the first thing uh, I'm gonna do. So move that way. Um. And. Um, I still have. Also, um, something else that you uh, would like to know. I'm trying to help you out here because this is going to be a, a difficult one. The gaze in reflection only works on herself with bright light. I have to sort of this like bright light, sunlight. Uh, you, know, you know, so that's also why it did not work uh, with the mirror right now because you have the lack of bright light and everything. Uh, well, we still have the daylight on uh, the sort of uh, um, Waco, if I'm correct. Yes, yes, you are. How much feet so is that? It's uh, like daylight, 60 feet uh, bright light and then past that 30 feet of lesser. Yeah. Bright light. Exactly. What am I doing? Wrong thing? It's my Celestial Legacy spell. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Just a bit, just a bit. But if you get uh, closer with that light and stuff, then it could work. Yeah. Zephion, sorry to interrupt you. I'm just trying to help uh, out. Okay, yeah, well, uh, I'm now uh, hiding a bit uh, behind this pillar and uh, very careful not to uh, look her in the eye. And you I moved am too much feet. The water is uh, rough oh, terrain. Fine. No, you Clock move. Wise. You move clockwise. No, 100% right. I'm so sorry. Well done. Well done. Uh, clockwise. So you can move the speed you want. And uh, can you move extra speed as well then. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. I didn't hear what you said. Uh, can you move you extra move? speed? If you, if water clockwise. is, if if water is like, uh, if you are good in water, you mean? No, no, because you said if, like, rough terrain, 
counterclockwise, so maybe it's... No, 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 it's rough terrain, but only if you move clockwise, it's normal terrain for you. Ah, okay, I thought maybe that speeds you up, so you can... Yeah, it does, that, that, that's why you can have normal speed instead of half speed. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Good, good, good. And I'm gonna cast a uh, Hunter's Mark on uh, Medusa. Hunter's Mark? What is that? I can uh, uh, choose a creature within my range and mystically mark it as my quarry. Until the spell ends, I deal an extra 1d6 damage to the target whenever I hit it with a weapon attack. And I have advantage on any perception or survival checks, wisdom check that you make to find it. And are you Talk looking at her while you do this? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you need space for it. Are you looking at her? Well, you did it. Uh, no, I just uh, mystically choose the market. I mystically market, and I don't look at it. Of course. Is there a feet? Like how much feet do you need to be away from her or so? Ninety feet. Ninety it's feet. It's a good, it's a good. No, I got it. So. Let us have mystic mystically market. Mystically market. I would say that then you you don't have to look at her to be successful. That's fine. Uh, and I uh, yeah, I hope she doesn't notice that I'm there because I'm a little bit, you know, around the corner. And I keep hiding there, and that's the end of my turn. All right, nice. Then uh, Draco, welcome back in action. You can do something. I'm gonna test guidance on myself. <laughs> all right. So I'm touching myself past the guidance. <laughs> You're touching yourself, all right. I'm touching myself. Well, <laughs> as this guy in battle, just saying. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm running towards Sephion and I'm hiding behind this. And that's my turn. Alright, alright, cool. And I'm, oh no, I'm gonna whisper at Sephion. Sephion! Yes! <laughs> I'm gonna run up and grapple her next time. Okay. Raise your eyes closed. <laughs> I'm just gonna hug her, okay? <laughs> That's my only thing I can think of. I can't do it. Uh, shit. Uh, DM, is it possible <laughs> if you're with your teammate that you switch turns? No, it's initiative. Oh. Okay, no. Okay. What you could do during your turn next time is that you would say, like, uh, I do this when I, he, yes. you know, like an yeah. anticipation kind of, kind of thing. Okay, no, because I have an idea. That is wonderful, I hope so. Diamonds, okay, do you also have an idea? Because it's Diamonds' turn now. Yeah. I, I have an idea. Um, I'm shouting, Medusa, if you're impressed with this mirror, just wait. And the, this mirror has, ma mirror has many tricks. And uh, I'm gonna cast, um, how it's called, this guy's self. And I'm gonna transform into the shape of Medusa. Ooh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Special tactics part number two. The mirror, hoping that if the mirror breaks, she will still see her s as if she's still looking at herself. Uh, oh no, 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 that is diamonds. There you go. You should be able to move yourself, diamonds. Yep. Uh, keep in mind, uh, just, I'm thinking with you, but keep in mind that you change the form does not mean you have the power. No, 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 of course not. No. But I'm hoping she will still be scared enough to... Are you, are you, are you gonna, mim are you gonna right, mimic okay. her, like, that's the, great. That's the nice. movements of her? Anything else you want to do, uh... Good point. Um, well, I can do another action. I need to... I'm, no. I'm in a good position right now, so I should not move. So... That was my turn. Uh, Diamond, you need to fill out your stats again. Oh. Oh, I'm... <laughs> okay. Right, Azure has to... Has to yes, Azure... No, step. it's uh, Medusa's turn. Hey, my, my, my question was, Azure has the Misty step, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, 
Me too. Oh, wait. Uh, and you see like that uh, Medusa is uh, still holding her bow in her hand and is furiously trying to shoot her arrows on the mirror. But since she is uh, putting her gaze not directly at it, she is missing it continuously. Um, she, you see that she's a bit uh, frustrated with the light that comes from behind that uh, platform where the breaker is sitting. So what does the light do again? It, it, it mi makes her disadvantage or...? The light... No. Um, no, um, no. I, I will tell you this. If Medusa sees her, her own reflection on a polished surface within 30 feet, in an area of bright light, yeah. Then she can be affected by her own gaze. All right. Okay, that's that's why you need the bright light. Otherwise, the mm -hmm. whole mirror effect and stuff doesn't work. So now with yeah. this light, also the water where she is in is reflecting, but it's not a polished surface. Huh. Azarea, your turn. I have ideas, but I'm not sure if they are any good. Yeah. Um, so, I for now just... Let's cry again. Oof. Can, I, can I try to, if I was standing like here, can I try to shoot an arrow at her first? Yes, but she is half covered, so she gets them two extra AC. Yeah, sorry, no. no, no, no. I just join the rest for now. Um. Yeah, I, I uh, honestly have, I'm um, thinking and seeing what I have, but I don't know exactly what to do with it. So if anybody has an idea, otherwise that's that kind of was it for now. Uh, you do. You you can sneakily whisper and Draco and Sephi and like, hey guys, what should I do? I'm I'm a bit clueless over here. That's exactly how I whispered it. <laughs> well, maybe heal me a bit. Well, that's fair. Or no. Sephion? Uh, me, exactly? Yeah, Sephion has le less. He looks worse than me. Heal him. Um. Or heal us both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe like I the proper you... rank 3 healing word. Yeah, but then it's only for one person. No. You can also uh, cast spiritual weapon next to her. And it flows next to her, and it just keeps slashing her. Oh, that's that's a good one as well. All right. I think, I think you right got side, on the right side. Then, yeah, 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 yeah. So she's distracted, and all right, good. Then that's what I'm gonna do. So, uh, yeah, I, I cast Spiritual Weapon, DM, and yeah. I um, cast, like, a sword. And where are you going to cast that sword? A trident. You're going to cast um, a trident? A trident, okay. Uh, around here. I don't have a trident, but I will then here? Uh, yeah. I'm actually thinking, thinking it's a very sad looking one. There or shall I just do it in front of the mirror? No, 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 that, that will be fine. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah, can slash okay. him, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, so next, next turn I'm gonna run up, I'm gonna grapple her. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then I attack her with that. How does that, do I need to add that in initiative then um, as well? No, it's for, one it's for one minute. So. Oh, bonus action. Okay, so. 
So you can attack with it as a bonus action with that sword. Nice. Go for it. Uh, it's 1d8. So and do you need, need to throw to... for AC? To hit? It's 1d8 plus 2, don't forget the 2. <laughs> there we go. And it's the hit, no, it's hit. To hit, yeah, 5 plus 5 to hit. Spell. Yeah. So, go for it. Is it gonna hit Medusa? Do you do the first damage? It's a 7 plus 2. So 9. Oh. And I want All to right. hit. Oh, nine and to you hit, cast right? the oh, sword no, no. magically next to her. It reminds you of the last time that you used this spell in the Red Brand Hideout. And this time the sword is as good as last time. It completely misses Medusa. <laughs> That's why I don't use this spell. Yeah. <laughs> you say out loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, um, Sephion, it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna take a deep breath and dive on the water. How deep and is it? Uh, he can, like, you can stand and then it's until your waist, so okay, you can swim. quite swim on the water. So yeah, I, yeah. I uh, actually hope that she doesn't see me because I'm on the water and she's busy. She either she's annoyed by the. Oh, her focus is fully, fully away from the mirror, on the mirror, but also away from it. If you get my point, so that's that's a complete focus. Yeah. So I'm uh, because it's uh, I'm moving clockwise, so I'm gonna go this way. Like that, and I'm gonna attack her. So you jump out of the water and you attack her. Yeah, I sir. I want to surprise her out of the water. Jump All right. Up and then I'll give you that you can roll with advantage. Okay. Then uh, <laughs> twenty. So that's, I don't need to roll again. That's a critical hit. Okay. Okay. So that. Okay. Wait. This is gonna be fucking epic, people. So, oh, okay. 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 All right. All right. What? Plus you also have that plus six thing, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Plus I'm gonna uh, do a divine smite level two. Ooh, interesting. Okay, 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 okay. All right, let me get my oh. pen. I think I need to go count how much damage you do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's gonna be a lot. Finally. Uh, where's, Finally. I don't uh, find a pen, so. Yeah, I'll be right back, so like one minute. Where's my pen? A two, oh. Here, Jesus, I have a lot of time. All right, are we ready? Uh, we'll be back yeah. in a moment. Keep in mind, Sefion, oh. Just a reminder. You have aspiration, Inspira inspiration. <laughs> How can I use that? Oh, can I also use that for damage rerolls? Anything. If you what roll and you, and if you roll a dice and your dice is not high enough, then you think. You can think you do better, you can re-roll with that dice, and then the one that you then you have to take. You yeah, don't have yeah, a choice yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If the so. if you're out of inspiration, the others can use their inspiration to help you out. No, I yeah, I have two, so I have two times inspiration, so that will be fine. Let me uh, know when you use it. But here we go. Yes. First, okay. what you jump up out, you throw a natural twenty, so critical hit. What is the first yeah. thing you do? Uh first my flail, I think. That's uh, a d8 and a d4. Oh yeah, you flail. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. First, AC. Oh, wait. No, you did AC. That was a 20. So yeah, stupid. So yeah. stupid. So, okay, damage. Here we go. Seven. That's the first. Seven. And... Two. That's half. I'm not gonna re-roll those. Seven, eight, nine. So that's nine. Nine. Then the uh, D6 for the Hunter's Mark. That's a 2, so I'm gonna use my inspiration to re-roll. Alright, cool. 6. Nice. So, yeah, I'm not gonna remember, somebody else has to please count for me. I am writing it down. Now, I take the uh, level 2. Divine Smite. So, uh, I can want to deal 2d8 extra raging damage plus 1d8 for one level. So I can roll 3d8. Go for it. 
The first is a two, and I'm gonna use my second inspiration to re-roll. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a one. You have to go with that one, unless anyone yeah. else wants to give their inspiration to you. I, I need it. Okay. I think I can give mine. Okay. It's uh, uh, all up to you. To Sorry? Sorry, what? Both of you were talking. I didn't get any of that. You want to? Yeah, I think. Right. I think. So you can yeah. re-roll that film. Five. All right. The second. Eight. Nice. The third. Seven. And that's it. And that has to be doubled. All. So that is twenty-nine thirty-five. Uh, times two is seventy. Damage that you do. Wow. Seventy. I'm gonna write this down for the recap next time. <laughs> and that's my highest damage ever. And you see that Medusa gets incredibly damaged. She is. Oh, you're not looking at her, you... Well, whatever. I'm you not, don't I'm see not, anything. Yeah. No, I don't see... I am actually don't have a clue how it hit, because I'm really... No, instead of with advantage throwing as a surprise, you could throw normal, but your first throw was a natural 20, so it doesn't matter. Anyways, you did her incredible damage, but she's not dead. She's not dead, but she is hurt, and she is badly damaged. Nice. Draco, it's up to you now, after you see this epic thing that Zephion did. Okay, I'm gonna use my sword with all the the, the, the shiny things. I'm gonna hold it with two hands in front of my eyes, so I, I just have like... I'm, I'm really sorry, because I think the last time we uh, made the rule that it was 1d8 plus 1d4 plus 4 because the plus 4 was the so there's another 8 damage remember we had a whole discussion yeah. about it last time yeah, yeah your magical item has plus 4 because of your strength right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, so that's uh, another 8 damage yeah yeah that's uh, that's perfect yeah, perfectly five. fine that's well five. done yeah no no that's that's 100% great um still not that but no, definitely but damage so I'm uh, holding up my sword like it's like glasses, so I can see downward and upward, but not straight ahead. As, mm -hmm. the, as I do that, I'm gonna run up to her. I'm not looking. Not, yeah, well, looking, well, I can see the feet, but not the mm -hmm. eyes, because mm -hmm. I see the whole body. Not, Wonderful, not great, that. go for it. So I'm gonna run up from the back, and I'm gonna grapple her. I'm gonna... Drop one hand and I'm just gonna hug her with the sword in my hand, so the sword's like right in her face and then the other one is holding at, uh, the neck or Good. something. Grappling. Or, How did it go yeah. again? We need to roll strength, strength against each other. Yes. I'm gonna choose this And dice. I have guidance on myself, so I have plus four. Alright. Well, good for you then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, strength. Medusa. What is, uh, what are you gonna do? Medusa. Me? Yeah. I'm gonna roll. But oh, I need, we need to roll against each other. Yeah, that's fine. So, tell me how much uh, you roll. Okay, I got 17 without the D4. And uh, I had 16, and then that's already for you. Uh, you win. Oh, I still have guidance. Thank you for saying. Yeah, no, fine. Oh, she's grappled with a shiny sword in her face. Uh, and, and a bright light shiny <laughs> sword in her face. And because now what? <laughs> a shiny sword in her face, which means that she's looking in her own eyes through the sword? Yeah. Is that yeah, what you're well, going for? Well, no, it's, 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 it's a Dragon Slayer longsword. I don't know how shiny it is, but... But is it... It's bright. That's what I'm saying. If you're saying it's, it's nice. shiny... It's nice. And is it also nice. polished? Is the polished surface, or does it have a, a, a To be fair, it's of? been in a dungeon for a while. I've not taken care of it. I just got it. It's it's brand spanking new, but like old. 
you know. You've used it. I mean? There is a bit of blood on there and stuff. And there is some blood on it. So I'm sorry, but I can, okay, I'll rub off the dirt with her face. <laughs> 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 I don't mind getting her pet fight. I already grappled her, so it's the only next time I'm gonna try to get her prone. She's already. Uh, Y'all have advantage on hitting her now. Does she have lungs? Because if you put the prone and while grappling her, are you suffocating her on the water? Are you choking her? I don't her? know. If prone things breathe, but we can try. Fly on me. I love it. <laughs> So for now you're standing behind her with the thing in front of her, the sword in front of her face. Yeah, holding her. Uh, but uh, the, the 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 curse that she has in her eyes is not really working for your sword because it's not a very polished. That was not the plan. Of the thing. Any no, that's that's quite what you did. So now it's uh, uh, Medusa number two, Daimos. Turn no. Yep. Okay, so I, I, I saw you all running. I'm going to um, peek around the mirror and, you know, via looking at the water so that I look at her, uh, I think, I guess, the feet or the legs uh, out of the water. Not Isn't the Draco blocking her sight? Yeah. So you don't, have to, you don't have to move your eyes away. No. You can now, because her eyes are uh, blocked by the sword. Okay. Okay, that's good. Then in that case, I'm going to um, walk to this side, so I can cast uh, spells in that direction. So if I'm missing, <laughs> it's still going. Uh, there's like very, very small chance that I'm gonna hit uh, the other guys. Oh, seriously? I'm I'm scared. <laughs> in, in theory. <laughs> but why do you think Draco the day of advantage? That grapples her, right? It doesn't say with me that grappling gives advantage. Mm, I'm looking it up. See condition. A grapple creature's speed becomes zero and it can't benefit from any bonus to its speed. Condition ends if the grappler is inc incapacitated. The condition also ends if an effect removes the grapple creature from the reach of the grappler yeah, or yeah, grappling yeah. effect. It doesn't oh, say yeah, anything. I think I, I, think I can... I could be mistaken, but I can get her prone next to turn, right? Yeah, you can try to, to put her like put her prone, yeah, for sure. Yeah, then we I'm do a strength up. check again uh, against each yeah. other. Yeah, yeah, okay. Fine. And then it has disadvantage on attack rolls, and uh, then they have advantage. Yes, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Daimos, go for yeah. it. Um, Elder's Blast at her. Yay. Oh my god. Peace. Against the AC. Yeah. So the first one is 15 to hit. Oh, That's better. better. And that is her armor. Does that hit then? I don't know. You're the DM? I, I am the know. DM. That was a discussion I had last time. With, uh... Oh, it's 15 then. Her armor is 15. Yeah, if the attacker meets the defender's armor club, the attack will hit. So, you hit! Nice, alright, cool. Uh, so, that's one, the 10 plus 4, that's 13 damage. Nice. Second one. 12, no, oh, uh, no, that's 14 to hit them. 7 plus 7, 14. So your so second one hit. misses, and it misses to the right, so Draco, you're safe this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. That's my turn. All righty then. It's Medusa's turn, and she is doing everything in her power to get away from Draco. So Draco, let's roll strength against each other. Once sure. more. Uh, I'm using my inspiration. All right, let me cross that out then. Better, way better. Twenty-three. Oh yes, okay. So she tries to get loose from you, but no, she can't. Your grip is way too powerful for her. So that brings us to Azarea's turn. Yeah. I use my amazing weapon. 
which is sword. That sword. But it's a bonus action. You can do one action now, and as a bonus action, you can do the sword. Uh, uh, still, I do the sword first. Oh, okay. yeah, sure. Good, good, good. Roll for attack. To hit. Fifteen plus five. That hits. Yay. And then we. Oui, and then eight plus two. Ten damage. Well done. The magical sword does some damage. Well done. And but. Medusa is getting incredibly damaged and hurt. But she's still standing, struggling against the grip of. You got some powerful spells. I'm looking at your character sheet. You got like 5d10, 6d6. Azraya, you have another action. Oops. Um. So just, just to, just to ask for the rest is opinion. Shall I start looking around, or shall we just focus on fighting her, and I just then use a spell on her, because I still have some slots still. Kill her. Definitely try to kill, kill her. her. Yeah, you have Guiding Bolt or Inflict Wounds. Both yeah, Guiding really good. Be careful then of the guide. radius, if there's a radius. You're all standing very close to her. Yeah, well, Guiding Bolt is 120. You can move a bit. Fair. And that, uh. And guiding bolt level 3. Yeah, there's no radius, it's just a straight up beam against it. Alright. Uh, no. Oh, wait, 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 what that's does it say? The and one. the next, the next turn, wait, the, and the next, uh, attack roll made against it has advantage. Thanks to the mystical dim light glittering on the target until then. Okay. So next one who hits it has an advantage as well. If she's not dead after this. Oh, true. And it usually makes quite some damage. Yeah. Make a ranged spell attack. Sorry, what? Plus sure. five. Roll to hit. Point beat. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Fourteen plus five. Yeah, that hits. And do you do level one or level two spell? No, level three. Level three spell. So that's sixty-six. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Is that necessary? Isn't level two enough? You think? Uh, well, well, she's red. She's already red. It, she looks hurt. He means. Look, she already. Oh, sorry. She already looks hurt. Yeah. Uh, yeah, can you tell me what you mean with she looks red? Never mind. No, no, no. Can you tell me what you, what you mean with she looks red? I don't Thanks. know what you mean. Uh, in flash, you see uh, the uh, the person. If it's yellow, then you're not nearly dead, but you good damage. And if you're red, you're almost dead. I don't see that. No, we I can see, see that. that. We see yeah. that. Yeah, but that's good to call. know because I find that quite cool. We are uh, like me and Sephion are yellow and Medusa's red, so it's lower than us and we're low. Yeah, exactly. Nice. All right, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. I didn't know. I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to say that because it's not role playing. But I'm just no, no, no. But it's nice for me to know because yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that it had that feature. So that's that's nice. But you can see that she's indeed definitely b badly hurt. But can I can I do it that I try first as a level one with four? And then if she's still not dead, then I can go on till it's no. level three. No. You need to make a decision before you do the spell. I will do one. I'll try finish her after this, because I still have the hunter's mark. I would just, just do level one and save level three for what we're gonna... But it's your decision, of course. I think level one should be okay. Because next one has advantage anyway. So, so what happens is that you see Azorea is preparing this immense powerful spell. You all are looking to the back, like where does it fucking bright light comes from and you see that Azurea is like getting all the power of the universe and you're all yelling at her like too much power <laughs> blow it down a bit <laughs> not too you, we don't need all that power <laughs> and then you see that Azurea is making the light a bit 
a bit less bright and a bit less powerful. That's basically what, how this is now going uh, going down. Level 1, 46. Go for it. Yes. Uh, it's a 3. 5. 2. And a 3. It's a 13 if I count it right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I counted it. 13. And you shoot it at Medusa, and she takes it very badly. She's almost bending through her knees, very much damaged, but not dead yet. Zephyon. Take my play, I see her going through her knees with the sword in front of her, and I actually uh, want to hit her with my flail. She's not going through her knees yet. She's just a bit shaky and oh. you see okay. that she's having a hard time. But anyways, with her flail, be careful of Draco who's grappling her. Uh, I have 14 plus 7. That hits. Uh, and then I do... Uh, plus 7? Yeah, plus 7 now. That's nice. Um, 1d8. Oh, well, first a d4 because I have that in my hand. That's a 3. Okay. Then the d8. That's a 6. Alright. Plus 4. And what was happening, uh, the next person has advanced. Oh no, that's not needed. I already hit her. Plus so 4, you uh, say? Yeah. Okay. 6, 3, and 4. So, 13. And the Hunter's Mark still, no? Oh, and, and the Hunter's Mark, that's another 6. That's another uh, 4. Can you tell me where you hit her and what uh, your purpose is? With how do you mean? Like, but, how do you hit her? What does it look like? What do you say? What do you feel? And uh, you have a purpose by hitting her in this... How are you doing? Uh, I'll get my flail out. I'm carefully looking because uh, she's of course grappled. So uh, I uh, hit her on the neck, because uh, uh, on the chest, I think. Because that's I look where the hands of Draco not are. So mm -hmm. I try to hit mm -hmm. her where Draco's arms are not there. That's what happens. And uh, I say. Uh, this one is uh, for uh, atrophying uh, wax. And so you hit her so hard in the chest, you see the spikes of the flail go in her skin. You hear bones break, you hear her ripped crack. And you see that she lets out an incredible loud scream. And there is blue flashing light beam coming from her mouth and her eyes. She starts screaming and shaking. So badly shaking that Draco, you need to let go. I'm letting go. Because I'm kicking she her is going up in smoke. And she's done for. Hey, well done, guys. And at that uh, moment... Wait, there's one more! There's one more next to you, Sefian! <laughs> no. <laughs> and at that moment... <laughs> you know it's me. <laughs> oh, come on, you know, you've seen me. <laughs> <laughs> Level 3 <three>, divine smite. <laughs> the exit is blocked. Uh, stone door shoves down and it's blocked <laughs> right here. Drex, so I'm running there! You're trapped. And the four statues are now spraying water and okay. every six seconds the room is filled up with one feet of water. Alright, get on the platforms. All get of those platforms. Yeah, everybody on a different platform. Okay. Okay. And I'm mm. changing back to the shape of demons by the way. I'm not very comfortable looking like uh, Medusa, but that's just a trick. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to be back uh, <laughs> to your. Uh, no, you gotta change be, yourself yeah. back. Yeah, the the the, the snaky hair pieces feel really like how weird. 
I did he drop something? I didn't even nope. try to destroy the statues. I mean, we can, we, maybe we can fill up the holes that uh, that the water is pouring out of. With what? I don't yeah, know, like, look in our bags. Now yeah, I got a python I'm running over to this one. I've got a python and where the water's coming from, I'm just gonna jam one in. But no, nothing happens if we stand all on the pillars. Nope. Oh. Uh, hmm. um, well, I, I, I have soap. <laughs> it's a big bath. At least we die clean. Yeah. <laughs> So what are you doing, uh, uh, Draco? I'm jamming a, a, a python in the hole where the water's coming from. And the water... You feel an immense... <laughs> immense power of water... Yeah, it's coming <laughs> from... <laughs> I, I'm going back to the python... Looking, like it's being I'm blocked, looking. but there's still water coming, 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 so you need to be very strong to keep that... How does the down. ceiling look? The ceiling, like this is this is a, a room. It's not really like a cave. It's a it's a built room. So the the ceiling is uh, flat and uh, of stone. There's no light, light source. There's not a light source. No, you are the only light source at the moment still. Uh -huh. Can I do an investigation check if I notice something? If you can tell me what you are investigating. Yeah, I'm really trying to look around at the statues and the ceiling and the walls. If if something piques my interest or, or like. Like a door okay. or exit. Yeah, or something right. that right, right. looks different. This looks different. See? Everything has markings on and it. And that is exactly what this now looks like as well. You can clearly see that this is a stone door which also came down here to block your way out. Okay. But roll for then investigation, Azarea. I can't move, by the way, yeah. Oh, sorry. You roll a 14. <laughs> and uh, what, what is your case? Like, what are you investigating? The whole room? Because I'm investigating the whole room if there's anything that looks any different or could be of any use. Well, you see the area is filling up with water. The statue started blown out uh, water, they are on wooden platforms now. You all are standing on four platforms and the water is rising. That's what you are noticing in the room. Um, I'm gonna take out my wand of secrets that we found at the lighthouse and right. I'm gonna use one charge of it. All right. Um, and it's, it's gonna point uh, the one pulses and points at the nearest uh, secret door or trap. One car holding it, and if, and if a secret door or trap is within 30 feet of you, the one pulses and points at the one nearest you. Well, it points at this door right over here. Okay. Okay. Uh, that was a little bit obvious, but I just had to try. <laughs> That's um, yeah. I'm gonna walk through there, and I'm gonna actually feel, examine it much better, investigate the door fully. All right. Do an investigation check. Uh, that's eight plus five is thirteen plus one is four, fourteen. Fourteen. So you move your hands over the door to the side, and you feel that this door is as shut as it can be. There's no lever. There's nothing, there's no knob, there's no loose thing. The only thing that you can inspect with this is that you see that it can move at one point, but the way it moves is precluded. And how it can. Can I, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. So can I uh, investigate the statue? Yes. Go for it. Investigate. Okay. 16. Oh wait, 15. Minus 1. Minus 1. So, this statue, you see that it's um, like not covered in real snow, but the statue is covered in snow. It has some ice on it. Uh, there's some snow on the floor, but it's all part of the statue. 
and you can move it. I can move the statue. You can move the statue. Can I uh, take it and put it on the pillar? Um, do me. Try to uh, turn it. Do me a strength check. You're able to carry it. 19 plus 3 is uh, 22. 19 plus 3? Uh, 22, you're able to move it. And carry it. Where would you like to have it? I'm gonna put it on the, on the pillar. Which pillar? Uh, the pillar that I was just on, so that's the left upper pillar. Wait, 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 wait. You need to move there as well. Damn it. Oh, Stefan. Yeah? It's, it's, it's blowing water in one direction. The water where we're in is like, is it still turning? Clockwise? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. So what if we, if they blow the other way, so it's going counterclockwise, it will reverse the effect, maybe. Are you waiting for me to answer something? I was look. I was uh, no. I, I want to know if the water. Because this still... nothing happened with the with the thing that. No, uh, no. But my uh, my question is: Is the water still turning? It's like yeah, yeah. The water is turning clockwise. Hundred percent. Okay. Maybe everybody should grab us. If, if we if we turn. Oh, I am. So I'm gonna twist the statue, turn it around, so it is not. Uh, because what I notice, it's all. <gasps> you're completely right. If we uh, the what I notice, all the water is going clockwise. All the water strala are going, or water beams are going clockwise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, we turn, turn the, the water strala right. around. Turn it. Yeah. I'm Thank gonna you. strength check this one. Uh, eight plus. I have nineteen plus one. Sorry. Five is thirteen plus my D four will be uh, eighteen. So. You, <clears throat> hold on, Draco, for, not all at the same time, Draco, you rolled 18. Yes. You're able to move it. While you grab it, you actually see that this statue is covered with leaves. It has all kind of leaves on his shoulders, down on the floor, down on the ground. Wait, wait, and Stephen, you how does yours look? Uh... Uh, it's made of I, snow. I can, see I can see the snow, right? Yeah, from there you can see that it's uh, the okay. same statue but different. It's it's the season. It's the season. It needs to be in the right order. So we got winter, uh, fall, summer, and spring. Where are how you? Do you know? uh, how do you know? We didn't look. At, we didn't see the other statues. I'm just guessing. I'm gonna put mine. Uh, I'll pick it up. No, no, here. There. There. Winter. 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 When do you start? You start Azarea. Azarea. What uh, you throw? How much? I think that's one. Okay. You see that your oh, shit. statue should be here. Shit. Shit. Is. I did, I did wrong. Uh, so um, guys, so what? if we wanna do it, Sorry. Sorry, Draco. Yours was covered uh, with uh, a radiant sunlight behind its head. Azurea, yours is actually with leaves covered. Oh. Um, can I, I go quickly back and investigate the pillar if that has any marking on it? All right, do an investigation check. 13. So you investigate the pillar, and the water is now at the same height as the pillar, so you dive underwater, and you swim around, and you see that there's something carved in the stone in Elvish. You read Elvish? I do. So in Elvish it says, seasons change, one to the next, but we remain steadfast. What do you mean what, sorry? Steadfast. Steadfast. Seasons change, one to the next, but we remain steadfast. It's probably uh, according to the season, so I have leaves, so that's like autumn. Draco has 
hats on something on it, then it's summer. Yell it out yeah, to yeah, them. Yeah. Let them know I, what you read. Yelling this. Because <laughs> you said the, the wrong thing. You said I had the lease, but it wasn't the lease. I'm gonna. No, you have the I sun. Have the lease. You have the sun. Yeah, yeah, but he, he didn't say that. Can I move mine to this one then? Yes, of course. Can I dive on the uh, to investigate the my pillar then? Of course, do it. And I'm gonna do mine as well. I can read Elfish, so uh, uh, nine. Can you read Elfish, Sepion? I can. Uh, I'm starting to learn it. So if it's basic, if it's really mm. complicated, I cannot. You didn't learn the language that good yet. So well, for you, it's no. just an Elvish, but you don't know what it says. Great goal. Net, net twenty, on, and I can speak Elvish. All right. With you, it says the exact same thing. Seasons change one to the next, but we remain steadfast. All right. Um, I, I want to. Yeah, yeah, guys. Listen, listen, listen. Water rising, oh. people. Water rising. No, the water's going. So if if Dimas is putting it here, uh, Azure is putting it here. The water. Look at the beams. It goes like this. It's still going counterclockwise. We should put it like this or like this. So yeah, mine, that's what I mean. The so counterclockwise. You do, uh, Diamonds, you put it on the top right here. As a way, I put it here and then see what happens. If nothing happens, I'm going to switch there and this yeah. one's going to switch there. We're going to turn one more clock. But so first we have to make them uh, make sure that they're in the right order, even though they're not in the right pillar, because else we can change them and we can ch we can keep running circles. So but first we need summer. to... I'm summer, you're winter, so... So you're on the right pillar, like, let, let's try this on the first. I'm we trying to... Uh, He's snow. Snow is winter. Oh, he has snow on it. Okay. Yeah, I have sun. I'm summer. I have leaves, so I must be open. So, yeah. Can I put this here in? Yes. Yeah. Your strength check will come up. Timos, strength check. So, yeah. Uh, what, what do I, does my looks like uh, spring as well? Winter. I mean, well, it's, it's covered now, right? in flowers, so yeah. you yeah. can <laughs> tell me. <laughs> uh, that's a six. That's not gonna work out, I think. Uh, you are pulling and pulling, but you are not able to uh, lift the statue. Wait, I'm gonna go there. It. I'm there, and I'm gonna help you. And I roll 40, 14 plus 3, 15, 16, 17. 17. Well done. So you together are able to move it to this pillar. But we, all, but, but we're gonna move the beams all counterclockwise. Well, so. Can you See if nothing happens right now. So right? you want to move the statue counterclockwise. Exactly, and I, and I already set that with my statue as well, so it's still... Uh, like this? No, no, the other way around. Down there. So Did clockwise you want it. No, so like against the stream, yeah, so this like one. it stops the streams. No, the other way. Other counterclockwise way. is to the left. Okay, well, against the stream. Huh? Yeah, the stream goes with the clock may. Yeah. yeah. So, so if we turn it like this, so it goes into yeah. the stream. Exactly. So we want to go create this. Yeah. So that's the way I turned it around. This is the beam of water, right? Yes. No, this is the beam of water. Yeah. So now it's pointed huh? up. Huh? That's counterclockwise. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You wrote the statue is rotated counterclockwise this way. Yeah. yeah but we need beam to what? go this way. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yes, and this beam yeah. needs to go that way, this beam that way, this beam that yeah. way. That's what, that, exactly, that's, thank you, that's exactly what I meant, Draco, Draco. That's what I said. So now we're countering the, the whirlpool. Nothing it's happens. Exactly, okay. And the water is rising. Maybe the statues are on the wrong pillar. Well, yeah. all the pillars, they say the same, right? Yeah. But then we didn't hear anything happening before we rotated them. No. I guess. I mean, maybe there was no but need they to do, rotate. But they could also go completely like somewhere else. Okay, we just pick them up and put them to the closest pillar. Are these? These two are also good, right? Yeah, that's what I was wondering earlier. This is what. This is what. This is autumn. Yeah. yeah no. This is that's like I had flowers. That's spring. Yeah, I have leaves, which is open. Um, so you need to switch then? Yeah, we can. But, I mean, uh, might as well. Azrea, can, you, can you quickly come check uh, check out uh, the, if the if the, one of the pillars says something else? Because 
We don't know if all the four pillars say the same thing in Elvish. Can I come? I dive under. And, and it reads the exact same thing. Right. 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 Seasons right. change one to the next, but we remain that fast. Sorry, I really can't understand. We remain that fast? S T E A D F A S T. So, like, they're not turning. Not, not so turning, not changing. They're solid. Yeah. yeah. So we maybe should not move the statues, but their order we could. You can't touch the ground anymore. That's how high the water is. You're all turning. Right yeah. Now. So uh, I would put them all back in the original um, the way that they were uh, turned, and we yeah, might yeah, yeah. need to put them on a different pillar. Yeah. Yeah. Like re-rotate them back. So we all, well, well, my question is, is this one and this one in the right direction? Because these, these two are. How do I you mean, know? Winter, no, winter, spring, summer, autumn. Yeah, so that's, that's also good. But you can also, well, this is the right place. Yeah, okay. Uh, it goes clockwise. We'll main cut part. So actually, you would say that, the, that can we turn the first all, clock, uh, all clockwise? Because keys is insane, but remains that fast. So that is not fast. So that means... Even uh, though back to the original way they were blowing. That one on this side. Yeah. That one that way. That one down. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we know what you mean. We had them like this at the start, but nothing yeah, happened. Yeah. yeah, but so. we have to put, like, everybody grab their own and and just go one, and we keep one moving them until... One to the left? One Seasons to the left. change, like right. one to the next, but we remain steadfast. Think. Room is a celebration of the changing of the season. <laughs> so they, we have the to water, change them. we have to change The water them. is turning clockwise. It's no like fire. a whirlpool. Maybe we need to go yeah. <laughs> go the other way, <laughs> counterclockwise with the statues. And that's what we tried. Oh, like grab a statue and put each of them on a different pillar. Not turn them, but grab it and just put it on oh, a different pillar. Move all of them, one pillar. Everybody uh, take one and move... Uh, yeah, uh, I'm switching with Azurea, fine. What? 50 plus 5, 20. Right. So you put yours on Azurea's? Yeah, sure. And I'll help Azurea car, uh, carry that one. So she I has an advantage. So you're switching these two up with each other? Yeah, why not? Kids. Let's turn the, turn all the chi like the cheeks. No, uh, yeah, seasons exactly. keeps the seasons stay the same, but their position so that like how they go like winter, spring, summer like winter, spring, summer, autumn is always gonna stay the same. They just need to be all done put on a different pillar. Exactly, the order stays the same. So Draco puts his on mine. I put mine on Scipion. Scipion's puts his on uh, Dimos's and Dimos puts his on where Draco is now. Yeah, let's try that right now. Yeah. Okay. So while you swim, the strength check can be done with advantage because the, that makes it easier to move around the uh, okay. Huh. And the water is very high. Okay. All right, no, so... I still um, help here, right? Okay. I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> So Drake is on his way, swimming towards you. You already moved yours to Azurea's. Azurea, how yeah. much did you throw? Uh, 13 plus 1. Alright, you moved yours to Zephion. Zephion? I'm gonna move mine... where? Yeah. Yeah, where? Where, where to... Yeah, Zephion's uh, slightly close to me. Okay, I'm gonna put... I'm gonna do that. And how much did you throw for that? And I'm throwing 19 plus 3. That's great, you are successful. 
Uh, Die Boss and Draco, I think you're successful, right? He no. has advantage, he's double advantage on the. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright, so, and as soon as you move these statues by changing the seasons, both doors and stone doors are moving upwards. Thank God. Well, that's good. The water is being depleted direction. and the stone statues are magically stopping spraying water. And you reveal a treasure room. Oh, treasure oh, and a tablet. Oh. And a tablet. Treasure. Oh, uh, guys. Uh, wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the tablet, the cipher. Well, watch Dimas there. I'm gonna pick up the, <laughs> my my little friend Drax. No, no, let's go. okay. Let's split it up fairly e equally. I'm 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 cool with that. That's the first. Yeah, that's the first. <laughs> first uh, the who's time. doing what first? Who is investigating how much gold there is let's and who is? Uh, no, let's have you do first the tablet. All right. Yeah. Then I just wanna. There's your tablet. Okay, and I'm gonna think really, really, really badly. Uh, about uh, what it is she said Lower. again, and I'm gonna do another history check. And this time I throw what is it, honey? Hold on, oh, why can I not? Nine or six? That's a nine. That's, a nine. that's still fucking eight. That's not eight. It's still not a good. I still don't remember shit. Is this why also I... draconic? This is draconic, yeah, but I cannot change something. Hold on. Is please, it... please do it. Grab it lower so I can read oh, it. Oh no, there we go. Uh, remove the fill. There you go. Now you I, you can see the full thing, right? Yeah. There you go. So... Does Sephia recognize it? Can you uh, read it for me in, uh, in Draconic? Uh, can you translate it for me, please? Yeah, I, I, I can. can. But so. first you wanted to do a history check or what was going on? Yeah, but uh, uh, it was uh, 9 minus 1 is 8, so again, I'm fucked. Again, the only thing that you remember was... Jesus, where was that? I know the sentence that you mean it. Uh, something with... Uh, the tablet is a key to unveiling the veils of darkness, a cipher to decipher the malevolence bound within the cursed dagger. Yeah, precise. A cipher to decipher the curse. So, Draco. Yeah. Yes. What's that? Uh, what is saying it uh, on the... It says, Thiruk Yoros, Unek. Yrathronas, Zilnara, Kilith, Malsaro, Zinaya, Orenunek, Thirith, Exenon, Zilnara, Nilsnal Nazireth, Ithrix, Giraios, Unek, Zintir, Rythos, Zilnara, Thiruk, Saum. And that means. In the crucible of sacrifice, the chains of destiny break. Heart's what? essence offered. A union nah. profound we make. Worms gaze upon the too fast and right in the crucible as sacrifice. <laughs> I cannot write that fast. You can just listen back to the podcast. Think, think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we got one more listener. <laughs> okay, then never mind. Okay, then read it, uh, please, and I'll listen back later. Heart's essence offered, a union profound we make. Worms gaze upon thee, resonant echoes within. Tablet awakens as bonds of kin. How big is the tablet, by the way? Sending me the wise. Um, it's like you need to hold it with two hands, but it can fit in two, two hands. Can't be a cool uh, necklace. In the crucible of sacrifice, the change of destiny break. Heart's essence offered. A union profound we make. Worms gaze upon the resonant echoes. Within, tablet awakens as bonds of kin. 
Mm. You thought you were done with puzzling? I'm so sorry, you're not. <laughs> Clearly not. Maybe it's something between the the the, the, the other goddess being a sister of uh, Lady Sha. Oh. Yeah, it's quite far fetched, in my opinion. This uh, rhythm. Oh, essence, half essence, and it, it, it comes. Hold on, hold on. Let me put it from my word into Discord so you can see it there. Uh, da, 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 da. No, it's a different storyline. Heart essence of a universe remake. Worm case upon the. Choop. I go to the Discord. Where? Uh, at the campaign adventures. And there it goes. The crucible of sacrifice, heart essence offered a union. Worms gaze upon the resonance of the tablet awakens as bonds of care. The crucible of sacrifice. Do we need to sacrifice someone's heart? <laughs> Um, would you like me to give more hints, or you're sure you can yeah. figure this out? Heart's essence. What's heart's essence? All right. Um, cue words in this what? is. Sorry. For love. Okay, wait one second. Uh, bonds of kin? No, worms gaze upon the resident echoes within. The crucible of sacrifice, isn't that where we are now? The chains of destiny break. Heart's essence offered and union profound we make. So I have to offer my heart's essence. Worms gaze is upon the... Who or what is worm? That could... wasn't that... Uh, Medusa? A worm's gaze. A worm is it like? Is it like is it a, a dragon-like creature? No. Mm -hmm. A basilisk, maybe. Basilisk's gaze on on you. I don't know. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure if you're ever gonna, I'm gonna give you something else. Maybe we, I'm gonna we give you the, the, I'm gonna give you the translation of the translation, all right? Mm. Okay. And then just help you out because this is, um, or would you still like to think a bit more about it? Because if I give you the translation of this riddle, then then you know what to do. No, then please give it because it's, yeah, at to least because I don't to shatter the change of this curse, a singular sacrifice, deep and resonant, is needed. It must be a sacrifice of the heart, a reflection of the profound bonds that connect you all. All characters need to sacrifice something that they hold close at heart to be able to help Zephion. They need Ooh. to put that Security. on top or next to the tablet and then speak the draconic ancient text on it and the curse should be lifted. But make okay. sure that the sacrifice is something that you hold close at heart. So that the sacrifice is worthy enough, and you show enough that you would like to help Zephion. Alright, I think we need to sacrifice something that's close to our heart. So I'm trying to interpret it to tablet. He considering for a moment if he's actually worth it. Wow. Good. Uh, While yeah. you all think about this, we go have a break of 5 to 10 minutes. No, because now I'm going to be the bad guy if I...
<laughs> You're not gonna be the bad guy. I just would like to stand up and uh, and have a be. Meanwhile, yeah, you can all think, think about think. what you'd like to sacrifice to help Sephiroth out. If, yeah, well, I mean, I can understand if you don't, but I mean, I'm joking. And in the treasure chest is 210 silver pieces and two. Uh -huh. No, 210 gold pieces. Uh, yeah. And yeah. 240 silver pieces. Okay. Wait. How much a person? That's for you all to see how much you're gonna divide. This is the well, total that uh, you that you uh, figured out. Don't forget, we need to pay the guy at least 150 gold. Um. Well, we'll see. You're gonna need to know that. Because I think you agreed that you would give half if that was treasure. He is yeah. not here, Mr. Okay. DM. I know, no, but no. just a reminder. He did not find anything, and maybe we'll kill him and let Benny the... So this is the... a treasure, but th there's still a curse on Sephion, by the way. Can we, exactly, can we... Uh, uh, well, I mean... Uh, so... Uh, I actually, like, I'm really trying my best. I mean, I listen to you guys. I'm, who who drove down the treasure? Me, two ten gold, two forty silver. Okay. How about this, guys? Like, let's actually. This is this is not an easy decision. How about we take a short rest? I mean, in this situation, I would actually uh, ha imagine having a short rest. Rest, take an hour, think about what to do, and then. Uh, I agree. Yeah. We all well, agree. Do you well, have time still alive, uh, Sefian? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm like, I want to plea a little bit, you know, because I mean, my the hand, my life is literally in your hands. So if you don't decide to that you want to do this, that I'm, that I'm, that I'm, I'm that. Um, Can I, we I'm not really do the? Hmm? Can we not do the sacrificing thing first and then rest? That was the question. Fine. Fine. And, do that, and, you know? and I'll, I'll pick up my helmet from my back, Sephion. Take this. This is my sacrifice for you. Well, I've I've been taking the short rest to think about what I want to sacrifice. You know, I, I don't just you know instantly get know what to sacrifice. So I've been taking. I needed that rest to contemplate. A short okay. rest is what an hour, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you've okay. been. You've been basically sitting there thinking an hour long all of what you're doing and have the short rest. And then you walk over to, let's say, just the, just the pillar somewhere. You put the tablet on there and then everybody... And then Draco puts his halberd next to it and looks at Sephion, puts his hand on his shoulder and says, This is for you, mate. Who's next? Yeah. So, guys, um, you know... I know we can't fool magic, you know, I, I can come with all these other stuff I have in my bags, but I take out, like, it's actually a very ordinary dagger, as it looks like, but it's a very special dagger to me. Like, this was my first dagger that I got from Aaron, the guild master, and um, I've been keeping it with me my entire life, but since it's about Sephion, there you go, and I put down my dagger next to the tablet. Very reluctantly, but still... Yeah. For you, Sephion. Sephion or Azurea, what's up? Yeah. I come closer and I uh, take off my amulet. Uh, which I use for casting my spells. So I... Put that on the tablet. And do you say anything, or do you, yeah. you have a gaze, or look, or just put it there and you walk away? Well, I look at my amulet for the one last time, and then I'm like, okay, Sifion, only for you. And what do you do? And I put it down. Sifion is actually not used to actually doing people's stuff for him, so he. Feels like a uh, lump in his throat, and he doesn't know. So thank, uh, really, seriously, guys. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, for me, that's the only thing. I only one thing that I 
my legacy, my Saphion. I need to, I need to sacrifice my Saphion because that's the thing that's closest to my heart. It's, it's your Saphion. My Saphion. That's the, that's the legendary weapon. Of the, that's the weapon I made with the gold, and I had that made. It's it's. I was like. Oh, your Hellbird. Something. Yes. All right. All right. All right. And you got that on. Um, or you named uh, it yeah. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that was in case I would well, die. The know, name was... <laughs> that was nice. So, um, um, yeah. I mean, seriously, thank you. And uh, I uh, then... Uh... All right. And now someone needs to read once again. Mm -hmm. uh, Sephion, I'll let you read the text on it. You don't have to understand it, but you can read it. Yeah, I'm going to say Iruk Goros Unak Iratrawanas Zigrina Kalit Malatro Ziyano Garun Unak Irit Ixenon Zigginara Nigitalas Zirat Irtrex Giaros Unak Zantrir Citros Zigginara Iruk Taum and the, the tablet uh, shines bright and everything around you starts shaking heavily. Pieces of ceiling are falling down. Your items Meteor. are glowing. The tablet is glowing. And your items and the tablet are shining such a bright light that it's hard to look at and if you're looking at it it's gonna blind you and then the tablet shoots up through the ceiling some sunlight comes through and the tablet is gone and your items are disappeared with the bright light and the whole ruins start shaking the ceiling is falling down and it feels like any moment now this whole place is about to collapse and Zephyr, yeah. you feel that your curse has been lifted. Your madness is gone, and you feel that your HP is completely back to what it should be. And you're released from your curse. Okay. Boom, and everything is falling apart and falling down, and the statues are falling over, and the water is shaking. It's complete chaos. Here. All right, guys, grabbing grabbing the gold. First of all, like I'm <laughs> taking it all, <laughs> and then we need like make sure we don't miss on that, and let's let's move out of here. Yeah. And uh, by the way, stop butchering my language. Uh... <laughs> uh, mm. I'm carrying still Drex because he's still petrified, right? Or did it lift the curse uh, when Medusa no, died? No, well, as soon as we're gonna get out, I'm gonna cast Last Restoration. I know Medusa Last died, so Drex is fine. I, oh, well, I'm yeah. still yeah. Having, having, uh, carrying him on my shoulder. Alright. Yeah. Okay, uh, and I'm running as well. Be careful of the two basilisks outside. Why? That's XP. Yeah, <laughs> still be careful. The whole thing is shaking and. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, no, we're not going to say I'm the same way we came. <laughs> yeah, that's the... Uh, Are you sure? Because there's a magical mockery you need to throw for. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Are you going down here? Going What's down, down here? I'm going down. <laughs> and you uh, uh, are moving okay. down and... Uh, okay, then Nothing this way. there. You uh, are coming this at way. the water. You dive underneath the water quickly. Everything is shattered behind you. And you come back out again on the island. And behind you, the whole ruins collapse. And actually, the whole island is shaking and looks like slowly sinking in the sea. Run! Quad is Run! at the boat together with what's his face. Start the boat! And we're stuck the boat! <laughs> 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 no. And Inigo is like, yeah, let's go! Oh, come here, man! <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is such a bad thing. <laughs> and uh, you, uh, you make your way uh, together with the Nico, and Nico's like, "What happened? 
What happened in the ship? What happened in the island? It started shaking all over the place. Uh, we lifted the curse. <laughs> Alright, okay. Think, what is that? Do you found any gold? <laughs> this is a couple of knickknacks. Not much. What is a knickknack? Let's get a rag. Give a I dog a bone. I see some, some. I don't know how much it was. I'm, I'm actually. Uh, <laughs> Can we talk uh, seriously later? I, I really, um, look at me. I, I really need to sleep. Can we, in eight hours, I'm all yours. I can tell you everything. But... And you see, the sun is at the horizon. It's getting slowly dark. It's in the evening. You arrive at the Kilbrachan, uh, back on the ship, where uh, Inigo is letting you on. And where you're being welcomed by the captain. I'm um, so, uh... Greetings, friends. I can't remember how I talked, but I think I talked a bit like this. Good friends. Where is the gold? Nobody is going anywhere before you give me the gold. What did you find on the island? Uh, some gold. The tablet. Yep. Alright, here, look. I'm... Give me the... We agreed at least 150 gold or half of it, what you found, be honest. Well, then half of it. Yeah. yeah. No, you know what? You choose. What? 150 or half of we, or what we, half of what we found, or the 150, you can mm, choose. I am the captain indeed, I will make it a choice. And he looks at you and is like, so you better give me half of it, right? That's what you... I heard what you said. I am not stupid. I am the captain of the kill, but... Huh. And he looks from his eyes to Sethio to Draco to Adrea to Daimot. Rubs his beard, looks up at the sky. Or it might be a reverse psychology. You but want me to take it? Hmm. All right. So you can all go to your chamber, and I will think about it, and I will let you know when you are all back on deck. Oh, yeah. I, I need yeah. to sleep in eight hours. Uh, go all to I your cabin to your sleep, and we'll spend the night here. We're not moving anywhere until That's I fine. have found anything. But please be well. Thank you. You're for such an evil name, you're kind of kind nice. Ugh, got that name many years. And you uh, see that he walks uh, over to Indigo, and he, you see that he is like talking with Indigo about something. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna take a long rest while I'm. Uh... I'm gonna talk to Deep Sea, Deep sea Dave. Deep Sea Dave. Who's I'm gonna take a long rest of four hours. Hey guys! Oh, trust oh, hey, Mike, are you back? Yeah, I'm glad to hear you, mate. It's good to see you. Good, good to see well, you too, Good mate. to see you, good to see you. What's up with them? Uh, they go to sleep very... Uh, what the... Uh... Yeah, I want to sleep as well, but how, how trustworthy is the captain? The captain? Ugh, oh, well, he... Uh, he's cruel, but fair. And how is his crew with him? The crew? The crew would go everywhere. I would... That's what I say. He's cruel, but he's fair. And then he is cruel in a fair kind of way, you know? But also fair while he is cruel. Yeah, but you're like a captain, right? Maybe you're a better captain. Yes. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm uh, saying I'm going to take don't let him hear that. You know, he's still cruel. He would still cut off my balls and let me eat them while I look at it. But only well, if it's fair, right? But, yeah. Uh, exactly, so, and I think it might be fair if I'm to try yeah, to dethrone him. <laughs> but you're Captain Deep Sea Dave. You're not a captain. Shouldn't you be captain then? I'm just saying. Deep sea. I, I would vote for you. Would yeah. you help me get him off and then sail the seas together? Well, see together. where we can go. Uh, oh, we, uh, we, well, we, we got uh, some dragons to slay. Uh, and I actually, uh, well, no, I'm sleeping, so I cannot say it. But maybe we can find another person on the ship who is maybe underappreciated, who is now taking care of the engine. Yeah. You know? How about you inform him, maybe, Deep Sea Dave, no. but be quiet. I've never, I've never thought about this. Like, I've, I'm, like, 
You know, I've always been a fair person, always served yeah, my captain. What's his name? What's his name? And you? I'm just trying to get back to Waterdeep, where I'm from, to, you know. What's his name? Tell me his name. The captain's name. Cruelty, Grendel. Cruelty, Grendel. That's not a name that you give like a Cinderella kind of person. <laughs> Maybe there's even a bounty on his. Who head. is Cinderella? Uh, that's a, a beautiful lady from uh, another uh, realm. All right, all right. You would like to uh, cross realms? And we all do, right? You, all you're right. in a like a mag magic gold ship with a shark in the engine bay. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick technical question. I really like that when we clicked on a character that you saw the names. Uh, that you they changed it. I've been trying many things to get it back. But um, I, I can't get it back that you can click on it and you can see what name it is. They removed it and I've been trying to do anything to get that back again. So uh, that you can uh, see who you're talking to, but I can't. Okay, um, then, uh, because now I'm noting everything, um, what was the name of the Afro-American fella? In Inigo, Inigo. In what was the name of the shark guy? Uh, let me have a look, it's some way I can see it. It's Jaggerjaw. Jaggerjaw? And the uh, elf draw? Uh, oh, that uh, fella. <laughs> That's uh, Nevart. N-E-V-A-R-T-H. Draw. And then I... you have a lady who is in her cabin, and that's Drusilla. Drusilla. Okay. Okay, that's just for. Uh... Yeah, no. Thank fine. you. Well, I'm going to sleep, Deep Sea Dave. I trust you, man. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, well, I'm going. Uh... I'm, I'm, I'm not sleepy yet, so I'm just going out. I have. Oh yeah, I gained a level. And the last time I gained the level, I was cursed, so I couldn't see my new max HP. Nope. Good. Night falls. You're all falling asleep. Where's Azaria? Oh, where's my? Where's I'm my? Outside meditating. Oh, you're out with what? And Drax? Drax is in the front, me. front of our oh, door. Oh, nice. Okay, nice. Oh, is in front of your door. Here. Zip. There you go. And, um... I snap my fingers and it's morning. It's six o'clock in the morning. And Sephion wakes up. And he sees Deepsy Davy, Draco and Daimos still very much asleep. Okay, I'm gonna... Why go are to... you connected with... What is this? What? Daimos, you are connected. Detach. There we go. That's fine. Yeah. Didn't uh, know. Yeah. Didn't you know were that. you were connected with Ini Indigo or Inigo, whatever. Um, actually, gonna go down to the engine bay to uh, go to uh, mm -hmm. and See how he's doing. Uh, uh, you see that I... the engine room is empty. Jagger Jagger I call him and I'm, I'm start opening. I look here in this door to see if that's open. If that door was open. That door is indeed open and the foul stench of urine and shit comes to you because that's one of the toilets. Okay, now other one. And you open this and the same stench because that's the second toilet okay. <laughs> comes. <laughs> okay, and then I knock on this. Jagger Jaw! Jagger Jaw! Yes, what is it? And then I say, good morning! Uh, oh, there's nothing that nobody there. Oh, there he is. Haven't you heard you should never wake up a sleeping shark? Oh no, yeah, well, I'm learning. I actually learned that it's the same with dragons. You should Have you wear. no patience? Do you want me to bite off your head? I'm, I'm, I'm really and he just I'm stands <laughs> above you, looking down upon you, showing his teeth. Uh, uh oh, well, I mean... Is you oh, not any manners? I'm really sorry, I mean, uh, no, that, uh, that's, that's a... Ah, uh, no, never mind, I'm joking with you. <laughs> Come here, what, what, what can I do? No, it's, uh, yeah, well, I, I accidentally walked the dragon and he 
actually almost set me on fire. So. Oh no, I just like to use my appearance sometimes to make people scared. This is one of my things I like to do. So, no, just come in and have a seat. What's up? Yeah, no, I, I must actually say, I mean, last time, I mean, you always done. I like fully appreciate it here. Of course. Okay. Do you like it here? Of course. Okay. Have you seen the engine room? Yeah. I created that engine room. That is my child. That's my thing. And I have been able to create it by the help of fair but cruel our captain. Okay. Okay. No, that's... Uh, you know, uh, that's would he hang you on a rope upside down in the sea for a couple of days? Yes, he would. But it would be fair. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Would he let uh, you okay. bungee jump from the highest pole of the ship without a elastic thing but just a rope around your neck? Yes, he would. But it would be fair. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, and is he almost gonna go retire? Do you know or not? Read. <laughs> I don't know how this works with captains. Uh, I Me mean, neither. I've day? never been a captain. I barely see daylight, but that's how I like it. You know? Yeah. It's no, a, I like uh, it. I'm having a great time. Okay, okay. No, that, that's all. That's uh, then I'm gonna... Uh, well, at least I'm... Uh, my curse is fixed. Uh, seriously, the stories we had, I mean, it's it's amazing. It's... Uh, I'll tell you later over a drink. I'm gonna come back down. I'm gonna see if my friends are awake. No, I need to tell you, it's, it's, it's night. That's the only thing I could complain about. I don't see a lot of people. You have that bluish fella up, up there, upstairs who is in the kitchen always. He's, he's like... He's even too bored to look out out of his eyes. Then you have the lady who is always up in her room doing whatever ladies do. I have no idea. And then you have the... Well, yeah, you know, the black fella. He's like second hand of the captain. Almost with his nose up to the ass of the captain. And then, of course, you have the captain. Who is, as I say, cruel, but fair. Mm. Oh, the stories I can tell you. Uh, I'm I'm so curious. Well, I'm you know, but I'm asking because a friend, Deep Sea Dave, who actually made sure that we are here now. I think. Uh, oh yeah, the uh, new fella. Yeah. Uh, also, never came down here actually. Only with you guys last time. Ah uh, no. No, he wasn't there as well. That's a big. Or I don't know no. what I'm talking about. Yeah, no, no, don't, don't really. You know, I like you. I like you actually the best because you come to see me. You think about me. I appreciate that. Yeah, well, I mean, I think, uh, I think, yeah, you're the, the, the most intelligent person on the ship, and oh, seeing what you created. You see this big grin full of teeth while he's laughing at you full of pleasure. And, you're and, too and kind. I'm also the most underappreciated person on the ship, in my opinion. If you can create this, you should be at least having, like, the room with the view instead of being down here, you know? But You know, my you're very kind, but... You and me, we differ from each other. You're human, I am what? I look like a shark. What do sharks do? They swim in the deep. I don't give a damn shit about any view. If I can see five meters in front of my face, that's a lot, and then I enjoy it. I'm down here perfectly where I need to be. Okay, no, well, that's good. Well, I'm gonna see if my friends are awake, and... Uh, of course, uh, of course, uh, of course. I'll, I will be back later. Yes, to I... Say I'm sorry. I like my fish raw, if you catch my drift. I know what you mean, thank you. Alright. And then I'm gonna go back to see if the others are awake. By now. Deep Sea Davies fast asleep. Draco as well. With little fumes out of the snow. Yes. <laughs> I'm, 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 that's a wooden ship. And uh, I must. How much of that? <laughs> Diamond? You didn't wake me normally. No, that's it, uh, Dima. Seriously, I had such a weird dream. I was dreaming that I was like, I was like, uh, uh. But this time is uh, awake. I don't hear him. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, um, yeah. I'm, I'm barely awake. I'm snoozing. <laughs> I said, Demas, I said, seriously, I had such a weird dream. I was like I'm a magician of some sort, and I was on a ship, and the ship kept going on fire. It was it was so weird. I don't know. Really weird dream. <laughs> so, that uh, is a weird dream. 
Yeah. I had the same dream. I was a I was a cat. Wait, I just woke up. Like, yeah. <laughs> that was weird. And you, and you were like a dwarf or something, and set in the place of fire all the time. Yeah, and, and, and I actually the cat was in my dream. He 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 actually made sure I died by not. Yeah, that's it was a weird dream. Anyway, um, whoa, whoa, let's uh, let uh, let's wake up. Uh, <laughs> Deep Sea David wakes up and is hey, hey, what are you talking about the dream? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think I shared the same dream. I was an elf and I played a uh, violin while I was fucking all these orcs. I don't know what's up. Uh, yeah, hey, yo, okay. Bye bye now, Dave. <laughs> oh, different dream then. <laughs> no, that's a different dream. Let's see if there's something food here. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Seriously, look at me, guys. I'm like. I feel so incredibly strong at the moment. Uh, that's amazing. Look, I'm happy for you. I'm happy you, you, you're you cured. Like, seriously, Sephion. I look at my chest and I, and I like. I like show them like there's not any. I think is there a scar, DM? Uh, would you like to be there, scar? I mean, it's like memory. Your neck, there is, because you killed yourself. Well, that's definitely you. Definitely have a scar around your neck while you slit your own throat. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. But okay, then there's just like a small scar left on my chest instead of all the necrotic. Uh, uh... Yeah, yeah, necrotic is all all gone. You just have a small uh, puncture wound uh, next to. Okay, well we we, we we are here. So what are we doing with this this captain guy? Are we like? I, I don't know. I don't know. He, he he looks, looks well. Well, everybody. Well, Dave, he's still there, but everybody says fair, but his name says otherwise, and. Well, I'm actually, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know if it's worth the trouble. I went downstairs to, uh, to Paul's uh, uh, jacket jar, but he's really, he's really content. He says the captain is fair and good, still cruel. If you deserve, if, if you deserve it, he will. So let's just see if he wants half or 150. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah, uh, yeah, just uh, it's fine. We, you don't have to go through all the trouble for me, no. Deep Sea Davy. It's not, uh, you know, as long as I can get back to uh, uh, my part. I said yesterday, Waters Deep don't know what's up with me. I'm from Baldur's Gate, to be honest. Okay, all right. I'm Nobody you. cares. Uh, Thank you so much. Yeah, Baldur's Gate. Bye. bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you entered uh, like the the the, the, combos, the the thing where you can eat yeah. and then uh, you see. Uh, I'm gonna walk up to. Hello. Oh, yeah. if it's not the dragon back, what yeah. can I do for you? Don't you see? I'm busy making like. And we have some breakfast. Food. I am working on it. Did you? Thank the longer you. you talk to me, the longer they. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I Seriously, guys. these guys? Okay, you sitting around the uh, table. Let's see if we can find the captain. <laughs> Are we gonna skip this guy's meal again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got all the food and walk away. Uh, there it is. Alright, uh, I got some four porridge, and it's like the most disgusting white snotty porridge you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, I'm going He, he throws <laughs> four of them on it. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> can you make me a berry please? Uh, because, uh, uh, yeah, I gotta have your berry. Seriously? <laughs> and while you walk up the stairs, you just hear clink, clang, fling, clink, clink, what's on the floor. Down the stairs, like, learn to cook. <laughs> I try <laughs> on deck. Man. You yeah. see Inigo behind the steering wheel, but the captain is nowhere to be found. Where's the captain? Uh, captain? Can we knock on the door? Yes, of course you can knock on the door. And let, let, and knock, knock, knock. Yes, go ahead. Right, let's go. Oh, I'm out of. Who is it? <laughs> Uh, oh, all right. Yes. Okay. Good morning, friends. Good, good morning, morning, Captain. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Captain, I've heard. Very crowded good in my captain, cabin. I've Very heard. good. Hold, you had a good sleep. Yes. All yes. right. All right. All right. All right. Good. 
Did you think about what you want? Uh, I have thought about what I want, and I would like to have half of the treasure you found on the island that now disappeared. Well, in that case, uh, we found 210 gold and 240 silver. So, half of that would be 105 gold and 120 silver. And he does an insight check if you're true. Because he doesn't know. No. Well, she is true, so... And he believes you. Yeah. Alright. So that's... Like... So... 120 gold and... 105 silver pieces. For me. 105 gold, right? Yeah, 105 gold, 120. Oh, was it the other way around? That yeah, is fine. Yeah, yeah. You know, as a captain, I don't have to, you know, well, sometimes I do with constellations, all that crap. Anyways, put it on the desk and you may leave the office. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank I'll... you. Uh... And then uh, you can go, uh, no, I'll, it's, you can tell Inigo that uh, we can go back to Neverwinter. Because this where you would like to go. Would you like to go anywhere else while we're at it, or would like to go to back to? No, no I never did something, uh, but uh, never winter is fine for us. Uh... All right, all right. And then we make course for Baldur's Gate to drop Captain Dick before I hang that scabbard off the highest pole with his face down on the. Wait, what? Who? What? Who? What? Get out of my office! It's been fine, nice meeting. You're hanging deep sea, Dave. I'm not hanging deep sea tape. What do you listen? Get out yeah, of my I, office. I, Get I, out I of my editor. office. Wait. So I'm standing here and like, what did he just say? That we can fuck him. Shall we say that deep sea tape wants to be captain of the ship? <laughs> Why should we do that? <laughs> yeah, no? Okay, no, morally, no, I'm right. Isn't I'm the, I'm Draco sorry. is morally the one who needs to uh, together with Azurea of Sephiroth? Keep him in, keep him uh, close, yeah? Keep him in line. Think of your oath! Think of your oath! You're no. a paladin, don't break your oath! It's the You're old Zephyon. I'm learning, I'm learning. That's why I asked. You have a vengeance for someone. For something, that's your vengeance, right? Yeah. No, okay. that's why I asked and not did it. You know, I'm learning. <laughs> I used to... My old me would actually do it. Now I'm like... Asking if it's a good idea. No, and I'm walking towards uh, this guy. The, the captain says set sail to uh, uh, Never Winter. Okay, man, Never Winter is the all. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you see that he is doing something, and you hear the engine starting to roar and the, the down, and uh, you're catching nice speed yeah. <laughs> back to Never Winter. Which, as I remember, takes you a whole day, so you will arrive, let's say, tomorrow morning. Are we then still on time for our job interviews? Yes, and can we uh, split the gold now? Well, slept. While you all roleplay, then I'll go have a look uh, <laughs> what day it is. Um, okay. Um, I think actually we don't need to split it. We need to pay. Uh, we need to go back to the dwarf again. I mean, we need to pay him anyway for our casino. So I don't mind who holds it, but as long as we use it to pay for the renovations of our casino, I'm fine. I'm down with that as well. Yep. I mean, the renovation should cost around 300 gold. I believe that was estimate. Oh, yeah, that's already around it. So yeah, it's it's a exactly. down payment. It's a down payment. More than 117, this is. Yeah, and I, uh, so... We need another... 130? To be fair, and I'm looking at them, I only have 43 gold. Uh, well, I mean... I don't... Maybe, not... maybe if I can find, like, uh... A good tanner, I can make more gold because I have some letters on me. I mean, uh, I mean, and we, didn't you have the idea to uh, uh, because you wanted to put something in for the lottery, if I remember correctly? Yeah, yeah, so I got this golden good. statue. Yeah, I mean that's also fine. I mean, that's on the gold. I'm not much busy with collecting gold, if I must be honest. But 
apparently in the process I have quite a lot. Um, and I also have... Uh, I actually have a lot of gold, to be honest. And I think Demas... I don't know if Demas... Demas is always busy. Demas, you must have incredibly amounts of gold because you're always busy with collecting stuff and we're somewhere. Well, whoa, incredible amounts. That no, not incredible really? amount. But I do, I do have enough for 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 the building for sure. No, so I we can we can split it, and we will, exactly. we won't have any shortage. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, uh, we can do it among us because uh, Draco is gonna put in uh, hundred. Is, he's gonna put in a statue for the lottery. That's yeah. another hundred. You actually yeah. say something Green. interesting uh, there, because Diamonds actually shoot have in your knowledge a lot of gold you all have no idea that he's been slipping into Baltazar. no 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 and he's not telling by the way Dimos, while i'm interrupting now anyways you're the one who yeah. made the agreements for the interviews with uh what was her <laughs> name again girlfriend. Uh, girlfriend. your girlfriend uh, yes indeed um that's on day 31 and you will arrive in the morning of day 29. Oh, 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 we have time can, to... Uh, yeah, I got final tanner. That's good. Then maybe we can go back to the dwarf and maybe he recognized my voice. You know, that I'm... I'm yeah, the last time it went a little bit wrong, but now he can actually see that I'm a oh. person. Yeah, we can do. I have a question for you, uh, Dimus and uh, Sefion. Is there like a... Uh, oh, what do you say? A leather worker or an enchanter or an artificer in, in Neverwinter? Yeah, definitely. Multiple, I think. Really happy. Can you show me what's one? Well, I, I, I know I was with Bebbersmith probation. Uh, I need an enchanter. I need an enchanter slash leather worker. I haven't oh. heard of any, but uh, we can I, ask I, around. I can do a history check to uh, see if I can remember if the, if, if the DM allows it. What would you like to uh, remember? Yeah. What would you like oh. to remember? Uh, where the Enchanted Leather Worker is in Neverwinter. Enchanted Leather Worker in Neverwinter? Yeah, or an Enchanter or like, yeah. Alright, do a history check. And I throw 18 minus 1 is 17. 17. Well, um, you actually know that there is no Enchanter in Neverwinter. Oh. But an, also not a Leather Worker? The leather worker is the woman who also does armor. Armor, okay. That's okay. Good for them. Yeah. So, uh, if I remember correctly, there's no enchanter in Neverwinter, but there is a, a leather worker. Uh, that's the woman who also does the armors. With okay. your 17, though, I can tell you that you get the imagine fantastic idea to ask her if she maybe knows someone that could enchant. Yeah, yeah I was thinking about that as well. Okay, right. but while we're busy, I'm sorry, I was making some calculations because, yeah, we need to go back to the dwarf. We now have 170 gold, so we need 130. But Demas, didn't you, I mean, you, in my imagine, you must be like stinking rich. Is there something I missed? How do you know? I mean, what? have you really seen? You don't know. No, but uh, you're always busy with stuff. Yeah, okay, but I told you guys, like, I I actually did tell you guys that I have to um, give stuff to the devil. Uh, oh, to yeah. Okay. That's, that's right. Well, we now have 170 in total with the uh, uh, with, uh, silver. Um, so we need 130 more. So I'm going to put in, like, uh, half of that. So I'm going to put in... 80, 80 gold? Oh, we, we have one, 117 uh, from from the island. Oh, 117, okay, yeah. so 117. Um, um, well, I'm gonna put in, uh, then I'm gonna, 117, then I'm gonna put in 80, yeah, 80, 83, so it's uh, 200 right. now. I mean, if if, if uh, you as a and me put in sixty one, then it then we have it. Then we're netting three hundred, and then we leave Draco out of it. Yeah, because he's gonna do the lottery. Yeah. 
Uh, so... Or maybe we just need to stop giving it to the devil. 63. Okay, I'm gonna remove 63 from my goal, so we're gonna make a belge, uh, one bag. We can put it together so we have 300 for the other guy. Uh, 63. You also want to put in 63 boat, uh, uh, Demus and uh, Azrea? Yep. Yeah. Okay, and then we now have a bag filled with 300 gold to pay uh, the dwarf later when we go there. So we have that ready. Okay. I deducted the gold from my stash. Can I suggest that I'll take the initiative for talking to the dwarf? I mean, I also wrote in the note last time, and yeah, I'm well, thinking I'm gonna he might go... appreciate that. Uh, well, I'm gonna go with you because he will recognize my voice. Last time it was not; it went a little bit wrong because I think I don't know what I did. It's like a really big blurry thing, but I think it's yeah, it felt I don't know. Uh, I don't I don't know. It went good over there. I just remember he being very mad at me. Not even can see me. That's all I remember. Yeah, I just think like especially you know with dwarves, my experience with dwarves, we should not try to haggle too much. We should just That's respect it. him, appreciate him. Exactly. And just give what he asks. Exactly. No, that's why we now make the bag with 300 gold. Uh, yeah. But I still want to apologize for scaring him. Okay, that's cool. To make sure that uh, the room and if we need him, it's it's gonna be good and not he's gonna do something as in revenge. Yeah. Okay. okay. So. You still uh, want to see anything else you would like to do, or you can tell me how you spend further the day. Yeah, I have uh, still. Uh, I have. Um, uh, I found the the amulet that I found earlier uh, in the in the um, in the excavation. Remember, I found uh, an amulet. And how is it gold? One second, I have to look it up. Was it in the Dwarven Excavation? Yes. That's from the... Amulet of... Oh, I just called it the Amulet. Uh, around the skeleton's neck hangs a holy symbol of Abathor, right? Yeah, holy symbol of And it says, Abathor. greed is good. That's yeah. the thing you're talking about, right? Yes, yes. So it's just a, it doesn't really have a name, it's like a tiny jeweled dagger on a silver chain. Yeah. And uh, it's inscribed with greed is good. It's a holy symbol of Abathor. Yeah. You want to do a history check to see if you still know what Avatar was? Uh, I know, I know, I know that's the the dwarven god of that. Nope. Oh. That's a natural one. <laughs> that's a natural one. <laughs> it's an evil dwarven god of greed. Uh, evil dwarven god of evil dwarven god. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, then I've not used it. I wanted to give it to Azurea, but that's evil, so she doesn't. Azurea, what no. are you going to do from now on? You soft, you put your amulet. Uh, what are you now using to put your to use your spell? Well, until I am going to find something more fitting, I'm going to use that Opalus and Clonch. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be. Right. Yeah. That's the deepest spell that I focus. Good. Anybody wants to do something before you go to bed, spend the night, uh, have a long rest, well, and then no, wake uh, up in the morning in the harbor of Neville. Uh, like shadow fight with my sword and then cuddle with the uh, Drex. Try to understand fighting with sword. Like if this is my thing, because I lost my halberd, and uh, just get a feel for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else? 
I wanna if uh, uh, if Azure is open that I wanna practice for more uh, celestial slash uh, elvish words. Alright. Oh, I, that's a nice job, I think. Teach him a word. <laughs> Hello? 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 Anybody? What, what word are you gonna... What are you gonna teach Sepion? Me? Yes. What does he wanna know? Elvish! Yeah, but Sepion, what do you want to learn? Well, um... Let's, uh, uh, let's, uh, light and dark. Light is... Ivea and dark is Nevea. Ivea and dark was Nevea. N Nevea and Ivea. Oh, not Nevea, the hand cream. <laughs> <laughs> okay. ne Nevea, we did. We did. Nevea. Uh, Ivea and Nevea. Yeah. Okay. Well, in celestial, uh, uh, wool is uh, light. And Tanmea is uh, dark. Wool and what? Oh, Tanmea? Yeah, wool. Wool. And Tanmea, that's actually quite interesting. That there's some sort of resemblance between uh, you work for dark in uh, Celestial and uh, Elvish. That's quite interesting. And Dimas, what are you going to do to spend the rest of the day? Um, I'm just walking around the deck and below deck and actually see if I can... Uh, I don't know... Steal? <laughs> yeah, no, not actually going to steal, but see if I can find some charcoal or incense or herbs that I could maybe uh, just not steal, but use. <laughs> All right, so you're just walking around. And, uh, throw me an investigation. That's for the 17. All right, so all the way down here, you will find some charcoal. All right, thank you. No incense, unfortunately. Good. Um, and that's how you spend all the day on uh, the Kilbrachan. Well, I want to do one more thing, because uh, I want to take some uh, paper. Mm -hmm. And uh, because I prepared that earlier, but it was still with a dark symbol. Um, and I need to make uh, uh, new papers with a, a holy symbol uh, that resembles uh, light instead of uh, darkness. And I'm gonna take a bit of parchment, do that five times, and I rip it up and I put it in my bag and I throw the old parchments I had overboard. Alright. So I now have five new parchments with a holy sim symbol on it. And then. Night falls, you all go to bed. You have a good sleep. And in the morning, you all wake up. First of all, Azarea wakes up. She wakes up because the sun is up. And you notice that you've just arrived back in the harbor of Neverwinter. And you woke up from the seagulls up in the air very busy in the harbor you hear a lot of noises from the harbor and that's what woke you up and Daimos, Draco and Sepion it's up to you when you decide that you wake up um, you uh, arrive at Neverwinter Harbor you say goodbye to Captain Deep Sea Davy you say goodbye to the rest of the crew except for the Priscilla, who you've barely seen during the trip. Um, the blue, boring guy. <laughs> 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 like, 
Uh, he's not that boring. He's an interesting character. Nevarth. Uh, actually, Sephion kept his promise. He uh, he did go down to say goodbye to Jagajor. Yeah. And gave him some fresh fish. Yep. Um, did we see a small tear on the cheek of Captain Deep Sea Davy? Who knows? Maybe. But that he's sad to see you go. Of course. Would you meet him again? We don't know. Captain Cruelty Grendel is in his office counting the money that he got with this short venture. Very happy. And Inigo is behind the steering wheel waving at you while you get ashore. Going back. And with a not cursed Sephion. And so far, chapter 19. Thank you very much for listening to our podcast. For more information about the world that the podcast is playing in, go to www.dancingworld.nl, which we will update with every single session. Also, if you have any suggestions of uh, an adventure or anything that we can implement in the world, or you have an NPC that you would like to uh, see that our characters meet it, go to our website as well and fill out the contact form and I will personally get back to you. And so far, I would love to see you back at chapter 20 next time, where the characters will go back to Neverwinter.